For 120 years, the best amateur footballers have played in the Victorian Amateur Football Association. Today, it's the pinnacle event. It's the grand final of the Premier section, the top section, where St Bede's Mentone Tigers and Old Zavarians play for this, the LA Addington Cup. We hope they're going to have a great game. The grand final, it starts now. For our viewers and listeners benefit, quick, quick uh, history of the last five years. St Bede's Mentone Tigers won the flag in 2008 by 30 points. Luke Wintle, their ruckman, still playing today, won the Jock Nelson. Old Zavarians won in 2009. Luke Howard won the Jock Nelson. He's playing today. Old Zavarians beat Collegians in 2010. Ryan Colbert, their great halfback, won the Jock Nelson for the best on ground. He's playing today. The last two years, Collegians have won against the Beads Mentone Tigers and Old Zavarians. So, in effect, these three clubs have really had the competition uh, in control the last five and years or so. Obviously, what you don't mention is that St. Beads did the three in a row coming up from. C-grade as well. In 6, 7 and 8, Luke Windle, Paul Windle, part of that. So they've they've had a lot of success. So it's not like they're a team going in. We're all saying they're the rank outsiders, but they're not a team that's going in that have never been here before on the big stage. They have. Well, they have They have a winning culture, and that's that, that's mm. an important thing. Uh, and, and they've showed that since the halfway marker last year, haven't they? They were 2-7 and seven at the halfway marker last year. They, they won 7-2 and two on the way home. They were relegated at that point. They right? were. They were virtually gone. They went, and, and then this year, you know, one win in the first four, and that was a five-point win over Old Kerry. And, and as it, things turned out, Old Kerry had an awful year. So uh, to, to get here is a wonderful effort. But the same from Zabs. They lost their first two games. But they do have a winning culture. And um, I, I agree with John that if, if they're there with a sniff, there could be a chance that they run over it. Now, Andrew Leonard is just about to get both teams in for the national anthem. Joe, David and Barnaby, you're all doing the boundaries for us today. Who's taking what team? Um, uh, I'll take St. Bede's Mentone. Uh, I don't know what Barnaby's doing, but I think Joe and I, <laughs> Joe and I are kind of sharing an earpiece. Uh, yeah. like, Joe know and David as a team will do St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Barnaby Willis will be looking after his beloved old Zavarians. As everyone gets ready now for the 2013 Premier Division Grand Final on Channel 31, Channel 44 Digital and live today on 96.5 Inner FM and 98.9 Northwest FM. And the St. Bede's players now make their way across. Yes, now uh, just watching them Zav's coming down to the scoreboard end uh, for the lineup, and Zav's uh, getting that coaching box down at the scoreboard end, which I've got to say is the preferred coaching box because that one there up the Glen Huntley Road end we is. We won from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it, you are, you are exposed to the masses in that box. In that box there, everyone can hear everything you're saying and all the the emotions that you've got to ride through during the game, whereas you just stashed away a little bit more But they're both there. right on about just outside the 45 metre arc, aren't they, at either end, so there's yeah, no but, advantage But, but people that. walk into the ground yes. through the gates and just sort of lob there on that hill, whereas they don't seem to go to that area there for some reason, it's further back. Anyway, I've got the National Anthem coming up now with Andrew Leonard. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and on behalf of the Victorian Amateur Football Association and our major sponsor, Sports Cover, we welcome you all to Sports Cover Arena for the 2013 VAFA Premier Section Grand Final. Congratulations to today's teams on earning the right to play in this day, the pinnica, pinnacle of amateur football. We make particular welcome to Old Zavarians and their co-coaches, Nick Burke and Don Berry, and their captain, Matthew Ball, and to St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. We welcome their coach, Mick Dwyer, and their captain, Simon Richards. We also welcome today's officiating umpires in the field, David Anselmi, David LaPere, Merv Bonte, our boundary umpires, Jack Cooper, Tom Newman, and Mitchell Jones, and our goal umpires, Chris Kearney and Kevin Sagoda. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could all please be upstanding, remove your hats, as we make welcome Emily Kilkenny to sing the Australian National Anthem. Australians all let us rejoice, for we are young and free. With golden soil and wealth for toil, our home is girt by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gift of beauty, rich and rare. In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. 
in joyful strains, then let us sing Advance Australia Fair. Premier Division Grand Final Day. It's Old Zavarians, it's some Beadsmen Tone Tigers. Should be a great clash. They've been the two best teams throughout the year. Interesting at the uh, the lineup then. It was reminiscent of last night with uh, the Hawthorne guys standing there with their arms round each other and tight as some Beads were here. And Zavs at the other end, the more experienced campaigners, just, just separated apart and looking... Uh, a little less tense and a little more and relaxed. And in the end, what, which one gives you better oh, it, went, it went with the arms in camaraderie last night. But it might also go with ability. A little bit. Just, just interesting. <laughs> just interesting how, 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 five points at the end of 100 minutes. I mean. It's interesting <laughs> how, how, how different sides deal with that lineup at a national anthem before the game. Some, some link, some don't. So, uh, I don't know, we've obviously had the toss waiting toss. on it. Matty Ball won the toss. Matty Ball won the toss and he's kicking to the southern or scoreboard end and of Sports Cover And there is a slight breeze going that way. And the, the breeze has actually just picked up a little bit, I reckon, in the last 20 minutes. If you look at the flags near that the gates, northerly, but just, no, You know, we're predicting a little bit of rain later. I don't know whether that'll be a northerly or a southerly change. So, it can be a bit fluky, but look, the wind certainly won't have a factor. I think, Glenn, uh, your beloved St Bernard's played in the grand final here once where the wind was about, like, 13 goals. <laughs> oh, when we beat Zavs in the, the B-grade grand final in 91, the wind was 13 goals and the rain was horizontal. We kicked five goals in the first half and none in the second half and Good. still won without ever looking like losing. <laughs> Ken, <laughs> it was a horrible day. Good crowd building up, Ken? Yes, it's, I, th I think that uh, it really does uh, say wonders for this uh, Saturday standalone situation. I like the idea. gives everybody an opportunity to uh, get away from uh, their home uh, situation and get out and have a look at the top competition with the best pl uh, performed players for the season. Well if we have a look at the cameras around in our screen there, the crowd really has built up in the last half hour or so Old Severians obviously had a long day represented the right the way through University Blues and Old Scotch were represented in their grand finals very well notice and all the catches, coaches from uh, it's Old Scotch here. And Anderson, anyone out Stewie there Pell. listening, please come on, bring the kids, we've got, we've got a jumping castle up there on the hill as well as a farmhouse little cage dairy out there with goats, rabbits and the like. So come along, bring the family. And there are plenty of people down here, guys, and it really feels like a grand final, I can tell you that much. And John Camus has uh, put his hand up to look Boy, after obviously. all those kids that get lost when they come along with their parents. The kids yeah. or the kids out of the animal cage? <laughs> <laughs> Another goat in the goat pen. Well, they've got plenty down there on, to the right of screen, uh, to the jumping castle there, right in front of the scoreboard. Plenty of youngsters enjoying themselves. Umpire Merv Monty doing his second Premier Division Grand Final. Thanks, Scatters, for uh, joining Thanks. us, and we look Thanks, forward Michael. to hearing you throughout the day. Umpire Merv Monty. Has the ball in hand. He's doing his second Premier Division Grand Final. And here's Andrew Leonard across Melbourne. Thank you very much, everyone, and welcome to the Premier Grand Final. Merv bounces the ball in the middle of the ground. Shore up in ruck, just won that easily. Knocked it out in the direction of Darvell. Getting there first there was Wintel for some beads. Medtone Tigers, though. Comes away to Simon Richards, who gets the first kick of the Grand Final. Up towards half forward, and Keane might run onto this. Is Can he get it? Is it Barnes? In fact, Barnes. he uh, gets a little kick away. That's okay, nothing doing. Lees crashes in hard, so's Porter. And a pack forms right on the 45 line for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Interestingly, uh, St. Bede's have started McGettigan in the middle at the start. He won't be there for long, but he's on Ben uh, Kennedy, who was such a force in the second semi. Throw up to take place, right half forward, slap forward by Wintel. Hansen took possession. Can't get a clear hand pass away as he's wrapped up again. We'll have a ball up at right half forward. It does make a difference, that extra strong body in there. Thrown up again. Shaw just tried to slap it out towards half back. McGettigan's in there trying to get a possession. Here he goes now. Hand pass away. That's okay. Comes out to Barnes. Left foot kick inside up towards full forward. Comes to Porter. Snap it goal. Just offline. First score of the grand final. Goes some beads. Mentone Tigers way. One behind one point on the very Toyota scoreboard after one minute of play in the VAFA Premier Grand Final. So Dean Porter, who came into the match uh, very well last week in his preliminary final, kicks the first score of the grand final. Andy Biddlecombe wobbly kick, but finds his man out there. Out of sight of the ground for Old Zavarians in Murphy Ambrose. Murphy Ambrose kicks the ball long up to Ben Kennedy. The brother of Josh gets the football. He's tackled and the ball goes over the line and out of bounds and we'll have a ball in. Right on centre wing position. St. Beads Mentone Tigers one minor. Old Zavarians yet to score. And the first quarter brought to you by the Sky High Restaurant of Mount Dandenong. 
ruck contest. It'll be John Shaw up against Luke Wintle. Wintle gets the takeaway down as far as Larkins, who played a very good game in the second semi. Ball goes over the line and out of bounds. We'll get a restart. We've nearly gone two minutes in the grand final. Interesting matchups down there in the forward line. Um, Rogerson has been given the job at fullback on Tommy Tyquin. Shaw palms it down towards Ball, then just hacks it out of the air, Shaw. It might have gone a bit too wide out of bounds on the full. Do what do you think so? Umpire says no. David Speedy at ground level. What have you got for us? Uh, just to inform Ken, Goss, he's gone with the short sleeves today, mate. Just wondering if you've got an opinion on that at all, Ken? Well, well he's a bit harder to see. <laughs> no, but he's gone against his rule because Ryan Colbert's got a long sleeve on. Oh, exactly we'll we'll right. Darv Darvell got the clearance. Hand pass to Ball, who kicked it up forward to Williams, who's taken a mark inside 45. And he can go back and line up and will have to kick this about 41 metres for the first goal of the game. Kicked a lot of goals this year, Williams, and uh, matched up against the uh, young gun from St. Bede's, Mangoni, today. So uh, it should a good be a good matchup. good matchup, and uh, he'll have his hands full, Mangoni, see what he's made of. So Williams, 45 degree angle, slight breeze out there, favouring the scoreboard in which Matt Ball elected to kick to. Williams from 44 metres pops it through. It's the first goal of the grand final to Old Zavs. They lead one straight six. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, one behind one point. Very Toyota scoreboard, three minutes gone. Yeah, so um, good start. Good start from both sides, really. St. Bede's have uh, certainly had their opportunity to, uh, to kick a goal, but uh, they uh, weren't able to finish it off. And Zavs, one entry down to the forward line and a goal. So um, Cooksey, another bounce. A lot of players up forward for Zavs capable of kicking goals too. And one of them was Jake Williams. He would have been uh, right in the betting to kick the first goal. Luke Wintle gets the ball out of the centre. Kicks it long. Up there to the half forward line. Leads and Barnes for St. Pete's Mentone Tigers. Michael Barnes, the youngster, takes the football. He's dispossessed by Dynan. Back into the team. Handball ends up with Murphy Ambrose for Olds of Arians. He ducks around one and kicks it long. Up towards centre half forward. In front of the pack there, Jake Williams couldn't take it at the front. Came to ground. Tin and now on top of the football. He's wrapped up in a tackle and we'll get a ball up right in the middle of Elstonwick Park. We've gone four minutes in the grand final of 2013. Throw up, centre wing out of side. Darvell had a couple of kicks early. Wintle got the football though and kicked it wide. That was Luke Wintle out towards the wing area. No mark taken as it trickles towards the boundary line out of side of the ground. Comes away with it to McGettigan who gets a kick up towards half four. Biddle comes under it though and is going to go back and take an easy mark for old Zavs. Kick back in board towards Colbert. So Colbert's taken the grab. Defensive 45 area. And uh, he can just sit and have a look. See what's available. Short pass is not a great one. Had to make Dine and collect it on the half volley. Forced to kick hurriedly up towards the wing position. Robertson back there. Hand passes to Wintle was a little bit too hot. Paul Wintle goes back. Hand passes. Costs it up to Darvell. Darvell hand pass back towards Waller. Larkins crashes in. Robertson over the top of him, Waller and then over the top, then Ratwintle goes and gets the ball. Hand passes out, chopped off by Shaw, just messy football this. Slapped out here, hand pass came from Doherty, out to Robertson direction. Murphy Ambrose goes in hard, big tackle laid on him, not going anywhere. That was some ugly football in that bit of play. We'll have a ball up out of sight of the ground. Well, they kept the ball right into, into the forward line there. Zabs with some very, very good play, despite the fact that it looked scrappy. Olds of Arians leading six points to one. Five and a half minutes gone in the grand final. Interesting. Um, Robertson is on Larkin and um, uh, Paul Wintle is on Darvell at half forward. So bigger blokes on smaller players. John Cannis bringing you the matchups. Now Olds of Arians through Waller get the quick kick around the corner where he's found Larkins on his own between centre wing and centre half forward. He drop kicks oh, up. Oh, oh. Good heart shown by Patrick Tyquin, ducking back for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Just a good contest, and he'll get the result in mark and free kick. Goss did the right thing, kept going in the line of the ball, and good courage from Tyquin. So Tyquin elects to go to the outer side of the ground, dangerously over the top, looking for his teammate out there. Uh, not finding him, though, in Mangoni, and the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. We'll get a throw in at 6-1, six, six minutes gone, first quarter. Thrown in, left half forward for old Zavs. Wintour got the knockdown on that occasion. Coming away with it, Doherty gets a clearing kick. That's Stephen Doherty oh, down McGettigan. the line. A lovely mark by McGettigan, and his hands out in front of Vittelkam. Centre wing out of sight. He's going to come back in board to Wintour. This is Luke Wintour who takes the mark. I presume no one in the pre-match uh, went for some beads, Mentone Tigers? Yes, or? they're two boundary riders who we said to do them. David and Joe. Wintour, jo Wintour, Wintour's kick goes to James Murnane, who's marked it still at behind centre. Goes wide to Doherty. This is Stephen Doherty. Uh, kick over the top to Mangoni. 
out of side of the ground. Delivers the ball up towards half forward. Barnes has taken a good mark. No, Gar it's Garside, isn't it? No, it's Tyquin, in fact. Tyquin, yeah. Tom, Tom Tyquin on this occasion. He's taken a good mark right half forward. Uh, just judging a better in flight over Dynan. Very good player, this kid. Tom Tyquin. Kicks to the hot spot, to the top of the square. Wintle could go the fly. Larkin's the big punch from behind. Chance now for Richards crashing through. Couldn't quite get there. Big pack at the top of the square for some beads. Mentone Tigers there claiming holding the ball. The umpire's not going to give that. And umpire LaPierre will come in and bounce. So, chance for a goal here, the Tigers. Top of the square. Just the one behind so far. Tagliabue got the knock away. Tyquin got a little hand pass out towards Richards. Doherty gets uh, Lees a bit too high. And a oh. free kick will go to Old Zabs. So Old Zabs will take the free kicks through Sam Lees across uh, fullback. Gee, there's a big lot of players around the Nick ball went there. falling off there. There was a huge pack of players, wasn't there, John? Of, you can see the way they've all split and spread out of it. So the left-footed Lees elects to go long, right up the liner. Luke Windle at the Mark. back, Tagliabue at the front, and Jared oh. Robertson stood in. And a bit of that. And body the mark. So Robertson will switch play right towards the centre of the ground where the mark's taken by Alex Kane. He's got one out wider and he'll elect to use him now. They go wide, right to the outer side of the ground. Mark taken there. Great work by Gossi then on the mark. Both marks just really putting some pressure on their disposal. By Tom Garside, who went back to Alex Kane, who's taken the mark between wing and half forward. Short, direct, uh, short uh, little kicks, and it's coming to Murnane. Murnane's taken the mark at half forward. Very good in the preliminary final last week. James Manane, he elects to go back before he goes forward and he might nearly turn it over. Now he'll get it on the overlap. Murnane, out of sight of the ground, goes short. Now the uh, comes up towards Tom Tyquin. He can't take control of the ball. He's on the bottom of the ground. Came out to Hanson. Hanson, an underground handball. Very messy. Back towards Ooh, Murnane. He can't geez. take it. And we'll get a ball up on the outer side of the ground. Eight and a half minutes gone, first quarter. Very solid play down there. You might have felt that. Yeah, who was that? That was uh, Lee's down there. Very tough play on young Murnane on the ground, but uh, just good hard stuff. So a bit of a slow release of the ball there from Merv Monty. Tagliabu got it away to Ball, who got it to Waller. And Waller's kick. kick goes up towards half four. G. got a lot of penetration on that. Leading in the Big race, kick. the ball's Goss. Garside there with him every step of the way. Gar paddles towards the boundary line. Goss, little delicate tap back inside. Just couldn't keep it in. Gonna get the a free umpire kick. is going to get a free kick, Goss. Being interfered with, his kick sends inside up towards the Williams direction in the pocket. Mangoni going with him at the moment. It trickles out out of play. 15 metres around from the behind post. Left forward pocket, main scoreboard in, and that scoreboard on the Berwick Toyota scoreboard reads one straight six of Arians, some Bees, Mentone, Tigers, one behind. Who's the advantage at the moment, John? This sort of stop-start play? Uh, no, it's, it's pretty level. No, no rhythm in the game yet. Both sides doing well. Now, Sabine's Mentone Tigers kick the ball wide out to the outer side of the ground. Murnane against Ambrose. Both of them don't take control. In fact... And once again, we'll get a throw in on the outer side. If anything, I, I'd probably say some beads a bit. They've had the ball on their forward line more. Um, Is that a good thing when you're behind? Well, they're kicking into the wind. You know, for them, it's... You know, they, they, left, they left the field against Zavs a couple of weeks ago in a bad state. They've opened up with confidence and, and aggressively. So and no well. genuine advantage in the first 10 minutes. Matthew Ball, four old Zavarians, wraps up uh, Chris Richards in a tackle there. And guess what? We're going to get another ball up. On the outer side of the ground, first turn brought to you by Sky High of Mount Dandenong on 96.5 Inner FM and 98.9 Northwestern FM. We've gone 10 and a half. Throw up, centre wing outer side of the ground. Tagliabue jumped high over the top, got the knock away, but streaming away with it is Barnes for some beads, Mentone Tigers. Kicks to Porter at full four. Good oh, punch from fly. behind from Colbert. Win read it best, got it at the front and centre. Hand pass to Prouse. Prouse away with it, delivers towards Ambrose. Can he run onto it? No, Robertson gets there first. Great tackle, though, oh, by Ambrose on Robertson. Tackle. And he's wrapped him up. Uh, this near side wing position, just four to centre. Zavs kicking to the scoreboard, and they lead one straight six to some beads. Mentone, one behind. Terrific tackle, that was. Unrewarded, too. Yeah, don't know Ambrose. whether he had the opportunity there to get rid of the ball. Now, Tagliabu tapped it out the back. Matthew Ball's wrapped up in a tackle by Barnes, who's had plenty of football in the first uh, 10 minutes or so. So lots of ball-ups, lots of throw-ins, lots of stoppages. Hopefully the game will open up, which I'm sure it will, because these are both generally two running teams. Tagliabu, ruck contest against Wintle, who ran straight into him. Umpire said against you on this occasion, Luke. An advantage paid to Chris Waller. He kicks down, looking for Chopper Hanley. It went too far, and it went uh, out of bounds on the full in front of the scoreboard. A scoreboard that says Old Zavarians one straight, St. Beats Mentone Tigers one point. They play on immediately. Kick came out to Mangoni, who has a bounce, running out of half back. He's had a second bounce. 
And hand passes back in board to Shakabe, who was running right next to him all the way. Has time to kick and settle down towards centre wing, but it's a poor oh, kick. And Nick Wynn drops in front of the intended target and takes the relieving mark for old Zavs. Classic Nick Wynn chop off then, wasn't it? Beauty. Wins short pass down the lines of Beauty and finds Lockie Smith. Wheels around onto the right foot and sends it up towards full forward towards Hanley. Yes! Good mark from Hanley. Just led to the space and Smith delivered it beautifully and Hanley can go back and line up for his first. Just lost him then. Um, beautiful kick from Smith then. It was a beautiful kick, but Shakib just lost him then and I wonder how much that had to do with that great effort of his just a minute ago with the exit of the back line and running and shepherding and then getting a handball. He just... Just maybe was a little fatigued and, uh, and Chopper Hanley was able to get away from him and take a chess mark. With the help of a good kick, as you mentioned, Ken. So probably a couple of metres in from the boundary. Runs around now, plays on, snap on the right foot. Is a behind. <laughs> Crowd behind it, liked it. It was not going to be given by Kevin Sagoda standing behind the goals there. one one seven. Old Zavirian, some beads, Mentone Tigers, one behind. And isn't it great that Kevin Segata doesn't have to rely on seven replays and waste everyone's time? Just makes the decision and we move on. Get over it. Ball brought back in, St. beads, Mentone Tigers. Up over the top of Robinson. Larkins comes in hard. Oh, that's... If wasn't that's pushed in the, the back. back by Tommy Tyquin. No, he wasn't. We'll get a throw in. Well, I thought the spine ran down the middle of the back. Goodness well, gracious. No, no free <laughs> kick paid on that occasion. Result and throw in. Half-back flank for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers and they take the football away oh. with a wobbly kick on that Smothered. occasion by Paul Wintle. And now it's, it's turned over him. to Lockie Smith. He's inside 45. Smith drives the ball cost back. Him. Larkins dropped what he probably should have taken. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers have numbers. Shakib. he got the handball oh. away to Robertson. They're still under pressure. Court. Robertson, oh. did he drop the football? No, said the umpire. I think we're going to get another ball up. Yes, we are. Yeah, well done again. From one one to one place. minus fourteen gone. A little bit nervous down there then, some beads. Yeah, a couple of fumbles in a row there. Wintle, beautiful oh, uh, knock away there. And this kick comes out towards half oh, back. Hansen had to mark. force the score, but it's a great mark taken there by uh, Tiernan. Been a good player, hasn't he? This yes. year. Comes around on the left foot, sends it up towards full forward, punched away from Goss, roving there oh, beautifully as Williams, and he's again. kicked a second goal. So Zavs go to 2-1-13 on the very Toyota scoreboard. That's a two-goal lead over some Bees Mentone Tigers. One behind, one point. 14 minutes gone in the opening term for Sky High Mount Dandenong. Well, that's, each time that they've kicked a goal up there, it's been from the intent to keep the ball into the forward line. And yeah. it's been very evident. I mean, it, it, it doesn't look all that good. It's scrappy. It's, uh, so it was a good opportunist cool. goal. Good play. It was a good opportunist goal, but some Bees had their chance to clear the ball out. They just fumbled on the ground a couple of times and uh, kept the ball in their can and... and uh, Players that are usually a bit better clean hands in Shakib and Robertson. Wendell lost the takeaway. It came out to ball. He kicked across his body to Larkins. Larkins dropped the mark. Umpire said no play on. Kicked it right up deep up oh. into the forward line. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> the association's leading Premier Division goalkeeper takes the one hander. Now he's 45, oh, 48 metres out. Don't pass it off, Gossie. Have a shot. <laughs> and you know you'll kick it. Is he's kicking? Yeah. Doing something different today too, John and Ken, that he's wearing the short sleeves and uh, Ryan Colbert's wearing the long yeah, sleeves. Yeah, they must have had a blue. They must have. <laughs> Brendan Goss will kick from just inside the 45-metre arc to the southern end, oh, the and full. we've built him up, and he's absolutely murdered the kick. He's missed the goals by 25 metres. And uh, we were about to say, you know, I think he's he got a, a bit... kick going around, but... He, he no, got too close to the man on the mark then. So free kick to be taken in the back pocket by Doherty. And he kicks it to the middle of the ground. Defensive uh, 45 still. Wintle takes the mark. Goes wide to Mangoni who's got Lutz on the outer side. So it's Barnes who got loose. He kicks to Mangoni. Gets it back to Barnes by hand. Oops. Goes to Mangoni. Went one one way, then the other. And he missed the target altogether. And they're forced to send it over the boundary line. St. B's Mentone Tigers. Just a few fumbles creeping into their game early in this grand final. It's called cool pressure. They're trying to be a little bit clever too. Yeah. Throw in to take place. Left half forward. Shaw easily won it, but Wintle intercepted it. Barnes on trying to get it out there. Gets it out in the end there beautifully. And they come away with it nicely here through Doherty. Kick goes up towards uh, Moon uh, Porter on the outer side of the ground. Still behind centre St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. As he's kicked uh -oh. into the man on the mark, but it works to his advantage oh. as he plays on, gathers the football. 
delivers a short pass to Richards. Hit Umpire called play on it, hit the ground, and he was uh, leaning on that occasion and allowed Richards to get away with it. We'll have a ball up. So umpire Anselmi puts the ball into the air and they all miss it, but Luke Windle gets a half punch away. St. Bede's men tone Tigers through Doherty, get a quick kick. Ended up there with Tim Doherty. He couldn't take it. John Shaw wrapped up in a tackle for Old Zavarians and once again will get a ball up. 2-1-13 to 1 minor. 17 minutes gone in the first term for the Sky High restaurant of Mount Dandenong. Wintle gets the takeaway, but only went as far as Marcus Allen. Allen got the ball up towards the half forward line. Jake Williams, who's kicked both goals for Old Zavarians, had the ball. Mangoni got the tap away for St. Bede's men, Tone Tigers. Oh, only as far as Richards, who was tackled high. And the captain will get the result in free kick. He gets the long, sweeping handball to Jared Robertson, and Robertson will drive St. Bede's forward. Well, he doesn't drive them very far forward because it's about a 10 metre kick, and it just uh, lands in the arms of Wintle. And he's prepared to just slow everything right down. 13 plays one in the grand final. Kick goes up towards half forward. And a lovely mark taken by Kane. And he comes back across to Doherty with that long left foot kick. Goes up towards Hanson. But no one was looking except Ambrose. And he read it the best. Plays on immediately. Comes to this near side. And Goss is going to run onto it now. Gathers. Missing him in the tackle was Tyquin. Goss gets around. Loops a hand pass over the top to Larkins. He's got a runner on if he wants to use him. He goes. Could be a free kick downfield to, uh, if they wanted to pay it. They didn't. Tinnan over the ball now. Trying to keep it in. Strong pressure late on. He's going to get a free right. kick here, Tinnan. Just crashing in a bit unconventionally was Tyquin. Funny passage of play down the wing there. It was sort of everyone was a step out, kind of. So Tinnan with the free kick at right half forward. Couple of kicks from home. Smith makes a lead, which he ignores. Hanley led as well, and he ignored that. Instead, he goes to the hot spot. It's going to fall to Hanley, who's going to waltz in and kick a goal. No, he hasn't. Or he's missed it from <laughs> uh, 10 metres out. Tried to kick it into the, onto the fourth green. He did indeed, and he's sort of sprayed it across the goals for one behind only. 2-3-15. Oh, sorry, 2-2-14. Old Zavarian, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, one behind one point. A bit worried about the St. Bede's boys here. They've just, just lost their nerve a bit in the last five or so minutes, and... Uh, He's hoping they can get it up the other end and Jim score Doherty a goal. Jim Doherty kicked it to himself and then went out to Juice Windle, who's taken the mark at half back. He gets the handball to Tom Tyquin. Tyquin had the kick smothered up towards Paul. The Rat Windle in front of the pack can't take the ball, and it goes over the line and out of bounds. Yeah, they've been uh, kicking very short, John, haven't they, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers in the last 10 nervously, minutes or so? Nervously, not, not, not with conviction. Or is that the plan just to hold play up into this slight breeze? And that's all it is, no. a slight breeze. Sure, Got a score. gets the takeaway. Down towards Ben Kennedy for Old Zavarians. Now John Shaw tried to get it out to Darvell. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers actually pushing forward through Keane. Ends up with Colbert on the left-hand handbars to Larkins. Larkins goes back inside to Kennedy who went back to Larkins. Chris Larkins chips it up the line looking for Howard in front. Oh, and the mark. veteran Luke Howard takes the mark right at half forward for Old Zavarians. Strong mark it was too. Howard. Kicks the ball right up towards the top of the goal square. Hanley in front. Punched oh, away well from him. Comes to the skipper in Simon Richards. He gets it back to Porter. Desperation kick. More in hope. Out looking for Jared Robertson. He's pressured by Murphy Ambrose. Balked himself. Got the ball to ground. Rat Whittle got it. Back to Larkins. And the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. It's 2-2-14 to 1 minor. 20 minutes gone in the first term for Sky High Mount Danny. You asked, you asked after 10 minutes who was on top. Crooksy, it was an even go then, but Zav's really dominating the next 10 minutes. Saving grace for some beads is they've only coughed up the one goal in that time. Throw in, right half forward. Tagliavu had no one against him, just palmed it down, but Richards read it best. That's Simon, wrapped up in a strong tackle by Kennedy. And we'll have a ball up. 50 metres, right half forward from the old Zavs goal. They lead 14 to 1. 21 minutes gone in the opening term of the 2013 Grand Final. Tagliabu knocked it down. On hands and knees, ball couldn't get it. Mangoni working in hard, just got his boot to ball in time. Richards is in there too. Still just burrowing it out. Kennedy, look at the strength of Kennedy. Rips off a couple of players. Hand pass coughs it up to Tyquin. Lots of heavy bodies going in there at the moment. Robertson shovels it out towards Keane. Keane's little underground grubber kicks okay for Doherty. Strong tackle on him by Lees. And it spills over the boundary line and out of bounds. Joe and David at ground level, anything to report? Uh, we talked about Simon Richards last week, and Chris Richards, sorry, he's just going on the ground again. He's got that knock last week on his leg. He does have sort of a shin guard on it. He's been using sparingly so far. Darvell couldn't strip it out. Crashing through hard, Tyquin. He might have had his head just interfered with a little bit high, but no, said the umpire. And we will have another ball up. 
Good crowd filling in. Sunny conditions here at Sports Cover Arena. Over the top, Robertson knocked it down. Waller read it best, though. He's got a couple of options as he kicks towards full Kick. forward. Hanley just got worked under the football. Still on hands and knees. Hanley diving in. Shakave's right with him all the way. They can't get it out. Trying to run past Smith. Couldn't gather possession. Wintle wanted only the boundary line. And he got it. And the umpire said throw it in. Well, just hanging in some beats. Hopefully, uh, just a really good passage to play up the other end and a goal to do their confidence the world of good. They need it. 22 minutes gone, opening term, a low-scoring grand final at the moment. Lockie Smith dispossessed. Oh, it's the Beats Mentone Tigers working hard through Pat Tyquin. There's a lot of heavy tackling going on. And the umpire will once again come in and ball it up. 60 metres out from the old Severians goal. Kicking to the Southern on scoreboard end in the first quarter. They lead by 13. So umpire... LaPere puts the ball up in the air. Big punch away by Tagliabu. As far as Patrick Keane on the left foot. Keeps it inside, up the line. Oh. Puncher players at the back, Sam Lees. Punches it away very well. We'll get a throw in right on centre wing. 13 the margin, 23 gone. Hasn't Lees become a good player really in the last player. five yeah. or six weeks? Very good. Robertson got to the front spot, knocked it out towards Simon Richards. On the left foot, screws a kick around the corner, but Ryan Colbert takes the mark on his chest unopposed. Allen makes a lead and he honours that lead. Colbert, beautiful pass up to Marcus Allen. He's got Matt Ball who makes the lead. His kick's not great as he goes on the half him. volley. And uh, crashing through. Some beats with the numbers should win out here, but they don't. Great pressure being applied on by old Zavs. And they manage to lock it in for another ball up. Just forward of centre, right half forward for old Zavs. 24 minutes opening term. They lead 14 to 1. Ball back up in the air. Punched away by uh, Tagliabu as far as Keane. He's still getting plenty of uh, clearances. Patrick Keane is being sat on. And once again, we'll get a ball up. Ken, we've had a lot of ball ups in the first quarter. Yes, well, I mean, the uh, Zabs play that way too. And they're, they're not prepared to just step aside and let the open play be get away from them. I like the way that they're closing it up. Tagliabu got to. it down to Darvell. He was dispossessed. Marcus Allen at the bottom of the pack with Richards. Also diving on top of it was Keane. And guess what? We're going to get another ball up. <laughs> Well, you know, if you've got a side with bigger bodies, and certainly Zabs have, uh, you, you're going to wear the other side down. The classic, situation. classic old Zabs final play here, just, just softening them up. So throw up, just a few metres in from the boundary on this near side. Tagliabu knocked it down. Simon Richards again on hands and knees, but Tagliabu got the hand pass out to Waller, who kicks up towards the Hanley direction. Good punch away from him by Shakabe. Gets towards the boundary line, and eventually it goes over. And we'll have a boundary throw in right forward pocket. stoppage. The whole pack just tips themselves, picks themselves up, jogs down. <laughs> Same thing again. You ready? Let's go. Throw in, right forward pocket. Robertson and Tagliabu. Tagliabu dies on the football in the pocket. And, and again, guess what? It's another ball up. So what, what some beads have got to try and do here is just get, get the ball out of this situation. And, and obviously it's too close to goal to allow Zavs to get a kick, but they just need... Look at the ring of players around, around it. I mean... It's tough work to get it out and get any meaningful flow in their play. Robertson over the top, knocked it towards the boundary line and will have a boundary throw and it was very close in the first place so they probably weren't expecting much more than that. Interesting down here guys, for the last couple of minutes some beads been thrown, every player that uh, Colbert's been on has been really trying to drag him back to the goal score. Yep, uh, throw in again, crashing through Keane, hand passes out towards the boundary line, leaves it for uh, McGettigan who I think got a kick there yep. up towards Doherty. Well and he fumbled the football and he's just been claimed a little bit high there by Lee so Doherty can uh, go back and take the kick this is Tim Doherty wearing the long sleeves for St Bede's Mentone Tigers the left footer recruited from Oakley he's had a stellar final series probably been their best player so far in total kicks it up to Jared Robertson must be paid the mark now Robertson's going to switch play out wide out there towards the big man in Shaquille he takes one bouncer wide then he kicks the ball deep up towards the full forward line oh. went up Why couldn't on. take the result and mark Watson came Andy in Biddleton. hard for old Zavarians. He got the handball away to Prouse. Prouse went up towards Chopper Hanley. He found himself on the halfback flank. Didn't know what to do. They all sat on top of the football. Manane and Tin, and, and we'll get a ball up. Half forward flank. Better movement, John Bison. Beesman, Better Tigers. movement. Good to see. Great defensive work from Andy Biddlecombe down there. Tagliabu got the tap away there towards uh, Prouse. Prouse went up the line. Taking it was Lockie Smith. He was going to handball. Then he weighed up an option. He went in very short. Quick handball away by 
Waller. Waller went to Prouse. Prouse went up long. Up towards the full forward line. Brendan Goss and Marcus Allen. And Marcus oh, Allen goes in. Oh, he hit the umpire. He hit Kevin. The and that doesn't matter. That's a goal. Best movement of the day, old Severians. They go on a 3-2-20. Leading St. Pete's Mentone Tigers. One minor score on the Berwick Toyota scoreboard. We've gone 27 minutes first term. Well, another good piece of persistent play from Zavs. But I have to agree with you, John, in, in terms of what you mentioned about the... Uh, uh, St. Bede's getting the ball out in the open, but at that time it was Zabs that did exactly that. Well, again, <laughs> it, I mean, the kick coming into the 50 from um, Saqib, I think it was, it just it just gave enough air for Biddlecombe to get there, punch it away and snuff out the St. Bede's opportunity on goal. Bounce in the middle, Tagliavu got the knock. Coming out, Chris Richards, hand pass away there towards Tyquin. Got wrapped up in a strong tackle, bounced off hands and knees, goes sideways. Here's uh, Prowse trying to work under the ball. Doherty gets up the, uh, the football, though. Good Shepherd allowed him to get clear. Wins coming across. Will he get there? Just went through the hands of Barnes. Lee's at the back here. Kick is oh, a good one for Howard. Here we go. Howard's marked inside the centre square. Look at the space. Beautiful pass to Smith. Smith has marked 47 metres out directly in front. Not beyond him, this one, either. I reckon it is Ken. I was just thinking, haven't we seen him not make it from 45 this well, year? Well, watch this one. I <laughs> don't you're on. He's had a foot train. Glass of red against the, against the light ale after the game on it, Kenny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Smith directly in front. We'll have to kick it about 49 metres. Kick on its oh, way. It's a low, it. long driving ball. He Share made the, the money. distance comfortably, but he was offline. 3 3 21 old Zaverians. Some beads men turn Tigers one behind one point. Very Toyota scoreboard for Sky High Mount Danny Dong. We've Get gone 29 minutes in the opening turn. As John said, a tie between our experts there. He got the distance, but not the direction. St. Bede's men turn Tigers in a danger period at the moment. They've got to at least not let Zaverians kick another one. Patrick Keane's got the football. Half-back flank for St. Bede's men turn Tigers. Holding up play. Kicking into this slight breeze. The ball holds up. Coming up towards centre wing. Shaw punches it away for Old Zavarians. Comes to McGettikin. He tried to get it to Hanson. Hanson fell on top of the ball in front of Murphy Ambrose. And we'll get another ball up. Once again, they hold it in. They Can, do. Kenny, have you taken stats on stoppages this quarter? Plenty of them. That's what we know. Plenty. It's 21-1 Plenty. to 1 at the 29-minute mark. So not many goals, but heaps of stoppages. Still might have a little bit of time left. Ben Kennedy tried to take it out for Old Zavarians. He was sat on. And once again, we'll get a ball up. It's taking the heat off counting the rotations anyway. <laughs> so, to be thrown in here. To be thrown. That's what uh, Speedy and Joe are doing, isn't it? Counting the rotations. Knocked out by Wintle as the siren sounds for quarter time here at Sports Cover Arena in the Premier Grand Final, live on 96.5 Inner FM and 98.9 Northwest FM. And if you're watching us on Channel 31, we hope you're enjoying the coverage. This is the Premier Grand Final at quarter time. Old Zavarians, 3-3-21, leading St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, one behind point. One behind one point. The goal kickers for Old Zavarians. Jake Williams has two. He kicked the first two of the game, and Marcus Allen has one. We'll take a break here on 96.5 and wrap up the first quarter. Expert boundary riders for the day, David Speedy and Joe Watty. Joe Watton, what did you glean from the quarter time huddles? Uh, basically, Mick uh, Dwyer from St. Bede said that they got their three goals purely out of uh, mistakes that they'd made. Uh, once you get down on the ground, the wind is actually blowing a little bit more than you think, and he said that that could be a bit more advantageous. He said, good, very good in the stoppages, but it wasn't resulting in inside 50s. Um, uh, in, the, in the Zavs camp, they think they should be winning the stoppages. They want to hit the targets a bit more. They think uh, some bees are just trying to kill it, and now they need to make the play with the breeze. They want to get it, run, spread, really work it off half-back. Now, our stats... Thanks, David. Thank you, Joe. Our stats supplied by the folk at St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Team stats, St. Bede's had more kicks, 48 to 42. They had more marks, 22 to 16. And they had more handballs, 30 to 18. So they've had more possessions, John, but they haven't been able to put it on the scoreboard. A lot of short kicking? Yeah, a lot of short kicking, a lot of kicking under pressure. And, uh, I mean, uh, just something that really concerns me is if we if we go back over the last four quarters played by these sides in the last, uh, last uh, couple of weeks, St. Bede's have managed to kick one goal in the last four quarters. That is a bit of a worry to me. And, and that was in junk time in in the uh, final quarter of the game. I, th I think this quarter is the big quarter with the not, with not the use of this breeze. If they're still down by a considerable margin at halftime, they're in big trouble. 
yeah, I mean, it's not, it, it could be completely meaningless, but it is just something to In put the stats out there. for St. Beach Men's Town Tigers, Tim Doherty, seven kicks, two handballs, once again having plenty of the football. Yep, yeah, he is. He's, uh, he's, he's been a good player for them and stood up to finals pressure. So for Channel 31, Channel 44 on your digital and live today on 96.5 Inner FM and North West FM. And for the DVD for years to come, for those that are watching the DVD. And they'll be obviously <laughs> going to be premieres at the end of the day. They'll know then, won't they? Because I don't think there's too many DVDs watched by the team that won't win today. Exactly right. Anyway, for all those organisations, it's grand final day in Premier Division. Umpire LaPierre has the ball in hand. He's waiting on the ground to be cleared. It looks to be cleared. Did everyone give margins as well? Yes, they yes. did, Andrew, except for you. Yeah, I had. I think I had it in the record, but oh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's 60. So oh. I was by 60. What did you have in the record? T 24, I think. I no, well, that's, you can't change now. <laughs> Here we go, Andrew Leonard on all those broadcasts. Really depends how it goes. And again, the ball has bounced in the middle. Beautiful conditions here at Sports Cover. Bounces over everyone's head on the second t attempt. Uh, on hands and knees, little hand pass out from Shaw. Went to Allen to ball. All by hand. And ball's kick went wide out towards Howard, who took the mark on the outer side of the ground and sent a ball out towards Williams. Mangoni with him every step of the way. Mangoni paddles it over the boundary line and out of bounds. Right half forward for Old Zavarians. Mangoni got the job on Williams. John, it's a big job to have. Big job. And uh, he's got to pick his game up, to be honest. Thrown in, right half forward for Old Zavs. Shaw just won it easily. Down towards uh, Waller. Couldn't get it on hands and knees. Doherty maybe got uh, into his back there, but uh, no free kick. Umpire's letting a lot go. It is quite physical in the packs, and we've had a lot of packs. 21 to 1. Opening minute of the second quarter. This quarter brought to you by Skinny Dog Hotel Q and on the Honan Insurance Group scoreboard. It's Old Zaz 21. Here they go away. Waller breaks from the pack. Kicks the scrubbery kick up towards full forward. Pack at the top of the goal square form. Some beads want to lock it in. Goss wants holding the ball. Not going to get it. Merv Monty lets it go. And calls for a bounce. 21 plays one. Opening minute, uh, second term. What do you think, John, if the umpires had paid a couple of free kicks? Like, oh, like a free kick there, there then? Yeah. yeah, I was just think, contemplating that. I don't that. know if there'd be as many uh, stoppages if that was happening. They knew they had to get the ball out. At the moment, they know they can no, sit they on kick it. This. Larkins goes around, kicks. Bent it too much. Then bends it right around. It's a very disappointing kick from the centre-half forward from 15 metres out. Misses to the near side and only one minor. 3-4, 22 to one point. Minute and a half gone, second term. You can't pay a free kick if there's no infringement, basically. Doherty, kick out to the near side. McGettigan's good the mark. target. He takes a good mark in front of Ambrose. Really, feel he's really important, McGettigan, to their chances today, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. His kick came away towards uh, Tyquin, but he's going to be forced to kick back over the mark. He goes back the other way now to Paul Wintle in the middle of the ground. He delivers a ball up towards Kane at wow. centre-half four, and he takes a good mark. I need this guy he to fly. He needs to move it quickly. Tim Doherty leads to the pocket. He doubles back and leads again. Hansett wants it long. He's confident, He's Andrew. advancing. Looking like oh, no, now short. No, goes short and wide to the outer side of the ground, and the mark is taken there by Murnane. Don't know if they're any better off out there. He kicks it to the pocket. That's a good pass, and Tyquin's taken the mark here. This is Pat Tyquin. And probably just slightly worse than a 45-degree angle. We'll have to kick it 45 metres for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers' first goal of the day. In comes Tyquin, crosses the 45, kick on its way, sets it to the top of the square, big fly, punch off hands, not going through. Barnes is there in the pocket, tries to get it's position. He might get it now. Hansen with him as well, trying to get it out. Not uh, doing, said the umpire, and we'll have a ball up. Sorry, that was Tyquin in the pocket there, not Barnes. Ball up, right forward pockets, and beats Mentone Tigers in attack. Three minutes gone for the Skinny Dog Hotel and Q in the second quarter. St. Bede's men turn, as Andrew Leonard said, in attack, but a huge pack of players around the ball. Simon Richards came out there to Kane. He tried to bust four, holds the variance apart, couldn't do so. Lee's had the ball. He was tackled over the line by Barnes, and once again, we'll get a throw in. Big mass of St. Bede's people up in that pocket and behind the goals. They really need something to, uh, to cheer about down there. Three and a half minutes gone. 
Punched away John Shaw, down to Walla. Walla was tackled in the ball and a quick handball by Biddlecombe. He got it out there to Lockie Smith. He dropped what he probably should have taken. Came back Magetican. He was wrapped up in a tackle. Allen and Keane went at the Blades. football. Ended up with Simon Richards. Simon Richards kicked it very high and very wide over the line and out of bounds and will get a Old Severians free kick. They lead by 21 points. Just can't break away from the, the big pack of players within 30 metres of the ball. Kick to, go to, there. kick to go to Goss in the back pocket, which is unusual. His kick's not a good one, too. It just uh, sat up in the breeze and hasn't cleared defensive 45. Howard's in there, got his head ripped off. No free kick. Pack forms, and we'll have another ball up. Just right on the 45 paint here at Sports Cove Arena. St. B's Mentone Tigers have had the ball in their forward line for a long, long period in the last five minutes. They just can't kick a goal. Here goes uh, Keane. Mm. Wrapped up by a, a tackle, dispossessed him and came out towards Shaw. He kicked it up towards Robertson who took a good mark in front of Larkins. So Jared Robertson, very good player at centre-half back for the St. Bede's Mentone Tigers and chips the ball into Luke Windle who takes the mark, handballs to his brother. Paul Windle unloads from 55 metres deep right up to oh. the top of the goal square. Uh, going back there, Porter couldn't take the ball. Handball ended up with Esmond Prowse. Quick kick around his body. St. Bede's have numbers. They drive it long through Garside right up to the top of the goal square but it forces across the face over the line and out of bounds in front of Brad Rogerson and will get a ball in, but looking a little bit more dangerous, John and Ken. Looking, asking a lot of questions, Crooksy. Now they've got looking to get some dangerous. answers themselves on the scoreboard. They need some goals. Shaw wins the takeaway. Now does the secondary. Got the ball out there to Smith, who quick, uh, Waller, who quickly kicked the ball up towards Lockie Smith. And once again, it's gone over the line and out of bounds in front of Doherty. Yeah, they, they, they just need to cap off this good work with, with a goal to give themselves a lift. So throw in to take place, still inside, attacking 45, Wintle and Shaw. Doherty's wrapped up in a strong tackle at the bottom of that pack, not going anywhere. And we'll have a ball up, Dynan laying the tackle on Doherty on that occasion. 22 to 1, 21 point margin, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers goalless for 35 minutes so far of the grand final. Hand pass came out to Lees, kick smothered there by Keane, and we'll have another ball in. Been very busy, Keane. Yes, he has, he's got Matty Ball to... Uh, giving him some attention as well. Re reason to reflect on another game here that at Elston Week Park won Sunday in a home and away game when some bees didn't kick a goal until last quarter. We hope that doesn't occur today. We certainly hope it doesn't. <laughs> so from the throw in, Ball got a hand pass out to Smith who finds himself on half back, chopped off there by uh, Doherty. Hand pass to Wintle, hand pass back to Barnes, oh. just held it for too long, was dispossessed. Kane is battling hard there for some beads. Mentone Tigers can't get a clean possession out either. And we'll have yet another ball up. He's going to be a good player, young Barnes, but he's, he's still raw, isn't he, Kent? Yes, but he gets in where he the action in, is, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, I yeah, know, he's good, he's good. But just at this level with the extra pace, he's just just looking a little young. Reads the play very well. Certainly no easy kicks in the grand final. Marcus Allen got it to Rogerson, went across his body. There he is. Mark taken now by Michael Barnes. Now he's 55 metres out from goal. Kicking to the scoring end and he kicks it long. Up towards McGettican at the top of the goal square. Biddlecombe went back. Coming through was Porter. He tried to keep it in. He's tackled Colbert deep in the forward line. And umpire Am Silly will come in and ball it up. Right next to the behind post. The scoreboard, 3-4, 22 old Zavarians, 1 minus and beats Mentone Tigers. John Shaw elects to try and get it back through for a rush behind and completes his aim. So they're out quickly here, the Zavs. Kick comes away to Ambrose. And Robertson just sitting in the hole there. He allows Larkins to go off and take the short possession and he trots back 20 metres or so. Larkinson's kick down the line's okay for Rogerson. His kick goes backwards, and let's see if they can open them up now to Lees. He feigned a kick and then hand pass to Ball, put him under a bit of pressure from Tyken. Rogerson goes in there, wins the football, good tackle by Barnes, Hold dispossessed and holding the ball. First there time we've seen one of those paid today. Well, it was a dead set right. Well, he had the opportunity, didn't he, Ken? And he elected to try and break the tackle. Correct. So... Barnes will get the free kick to send them back into attack. He doesn't go that straight that direction, goes across the face of ground towards Doherty. Flew for the mark, couldn't get it on hands and knees, hand passed out. Good boy. Uh, good strong uh, play there by Richards. Equally strong tackling laid on him and we'll have yet another ball it up. It was in hard, in hard then Richards, but you know there were two Zaz blokes going equally as hard at him and that's, and that's the story of it. Hasn't been uh, that skillful, Kane got it out. This oh, time to Doherty, Steve Doherty. 
He went completely laterally sideways, John. That's the way you do it these days. And he's got Shakib he right the on the 45 metre arc. Is he, it was no, his brother, number eight, the left footer. Yeah. Yeah. Shakib got the handball away. Driving it was Tim Doherty right up to the top of the goal. Oh, square. Whittle went up. Oh, they're There's on the goal. They've got the goal. McGettigan. Peter McGettigan did yep. the roving after Wendell went up to try and take the grab. And that was a set play, John. You didn't think it had worked, but it did. <laughs> one, two, eight, St. Ben's Mentone Tigers. Uh, three, four, 22 old Zavs on the Honan Insurance Group scoreboard. Yeah, right. Did you used to set up play like that, Kenny, out at Parkside with oh, that yes. long ground that it was out there? Might have destroyed that pack a bit better than I did then. <laughs> <laughs> no man standing except Big Pete McGettigan. So, great goal. And he's been a good contributor today, Peter McGettigan. Started well, done a lot of work around the ground, and uh, he's uh, certainly doing his bit. So back in the middle of Sports Cover Arena. Took a so while though, nine minutes in to get that goal. 3 4 to 1 2 8. I'll have that back, thanks, chaps. I wasn't yeah. happy with that bounce. And the bounce, uh, we'll yeah. just have a, a re throw, throw up, up yes. on this occasion. Gene standing on the wing with Tiernan. See if he can charge in and get some football here. Over the top, oh, sure. Here he goes. Called it, go to called Jeans. it. Jeans hand passes away wide towards Sweeping Robinson. Sweeping handball. Oh, just fumbled it under the pressure of Larkins. Larkins well really wraps it well in. Played. Great play by Larkins. Gee, I'd like to be able to predict the, predict the Tats Lotto numbers like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have a ball up. Centre wing, this is a near side. Just forward to centre for Old Zavarians. Shaw again wins it out. Chris oh. Richards crashes in. Kennedy strong over the football. Wins the football and kicks it up Kick. towards Goss. Paddles it to advantage of Williams. Mangoni gets there first but fell over at a critical time. Paul Wintle just kicked it off the ground and hacked it up towards halfback. Out there's Murnane. Wintle went to kick it off the ground again. Hands and knees and crawling was uh, Jake Williams. Coming away with the it here. Sh uh, Shakabe hand passes towards oh, the boundary line. Stuff. Great play by uh, uh, Prouse. Prouse, yeah. Prouse uh, on hands and knees, and then eventually it goes over the boundary line and out of bounds, out of sight of the ground. Great play from Prouse there to get in and under and be the first one there to stop uh, some bees picking it up and moving it. Restart a play out of sight of the ground. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers have the only goal in this quarter, and they're trying to push the ball towards the boundary line through Tim Doherty, and he's achieved his aim. 70 metres around from the old Zavarian's goal. Will the free kick be paid here, I think? Oh. It will. It'll go the way of old Zavarian. Is that for diving no, in at the no, leg? Yeah, no, no. He just pushed him on the way up, pushed him in the back of the head as he was getting up. And uh, So no, ball so it is. And John, John didn't like that one. He goes short to Ryan Colbert. No, back wearing his familiar long sleeves. He gets the handball back. No, no, he's no. not happy with the way he took the no. kick. Okay, so he's got to kick it again. This time is he happier because he's found Smith. Lockie Smith. 65 metres out from goal. Deep in the forward pocket. Kicks right up towards the top of the goal square. Oh, geez. Jeans went up. So did Wendell. Tagliabue went up for Old Zavarians. Bottom of the pack. Jeans is at the bottom of the pack. The grandson of the great Alan Jeans, Hayden Jeans, and he can't take the ball and will get a ball up. He actually, actually would have marked that had Juice Wendell not punched it out of his hands. He had good, good purchase on it. 25 metres out from the old Zavarian's goal. Tagliabu gets the takeaway. Only went as far as St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Doherty, was he tackled high? Was he no. tackled? Yes, he was tackled all right. But was he Great tackled tackle. high, Ken? No, no, said the umpire will get a ball up 45 metres out. Thrown up. Wintle looking for Tagliabu. Larkins roved it. Got a hand pass back to ball. Kicked inside up towards Williams. Got it. No, no. play on to the umpire. Oh. Play Stop on. Up. Hanley kicks the goal anyway. And Zaz get their fourth. 4-4-28. Four, four, Margin out to 20 points now. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, 1-2-8. That's on the Honan Insurance Group scoreboard at 12 and a half minutes gone. Second term for the Skinny Dog Hotel. Well, Ken, isn't it like supposed to work set. the other way around? William's supposed to do the roving yeah. of Hanley? But I, th I thought he took a dead set mark from here. But it's no. just squirted out, Kenny. He, he did have it, but it, it, it popped out and uh, it just morphed into the arms of uh, Chopper Hanley, who, uh, who, who snapped a good goal. Margin the same as it was at quarter time. We've gone nearly 13 minutes. They've both kicked one goal, one apiece in this second quarter. So the ruck, important. Both coaches said before the start of the day, Marcus Allen takes it away, gets the handball to Ambrose. That's Murphy Ambrose, and he kicks it long. Up looking for Hanley. Chopper goes up, can't take the mark. Another Jake right Williams tackle. tries through the roving. Good uh, defence on that occasion by Hawad Shakib for St. Bean's Mentone Tigers, and we'll get a ball up. I think the tackling that the Zabs have been applying has been a standout in this first uh, half of game. It's certainly been. They've been playing under their terms. Marcus Allen has it, kicks across, Kick around the, the corner, and kicks his second goal of the grand final. 
Olds of Arians going to 5 4 34. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers 1 2 8. Danger period, John. Yes, yeah, the lead is uh, is just starting to blow out a bit to, f to f 26 points. So um, St. Bede's just need to get some flow in their play. They can't. They just can't get you know multiple possessions to you know to, to move themselves through the line. There's um, which which would just be eating away at their confidence and their nerve with the ball and uh, and Zavs are just preying on them. Thrown up in the middle, knocked out by Tagliabue. Here they go again. Zavs through ball, kick goes up towards Smith. Wintle just got in his back. Larkins is going to get there first. Runs to 45. Kick around the corner up towards the hot spot. Goss just couldn't quite take it. Shakib with him on that occasion. Goss, strong tackle late on him. Spins him over the boundary line. We'll have a boundary throw in 10 metres around from Zaz's goal. They lead 34 to 8. Once again, Zaz were very good at keeping the ball there. Right in the forward pocket. Just dominating proceedings at the moment, old Zaz. Knocked out by Wintle. Goss there was held. Was he get a free kick? No, said the umpire. Hold it in again. Here they go, Wintle. This is uh, Luke Wintle gets the clearing kick from 45. Oh, great, oh, great mark. mark taken there by Tiernan. It's just not an easy kick for some beads anywhere. So Tiernan with the football sends the pass in towards Smith. Larkins almost took it as everyone missed it. Hand pass back to Allen. Can he kick a third around one, around another? Hand pass to Biddlecombe who is up in the forward line. And... Uh, no, not coming out of the pack there. Mangoni tries to burrow his way through. So Kennedy crashes through. It might have been oh, Kennedy before, yeah, actually, I think it was. Yeah. And just umpire letting it go. It's really ugly sort of stuff there. Big pack form. I think it was Kennedy that crashed through. David and Joe, through our effects, might the wind just started to blow up a bit more? Yeah, it has picked up a little bit. It's just gusty, though. So still uh, going to the southern end, but St. Pete's Mentone Tigers better use it and better use it quickly or else they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Trail by 26 points, 15 and a half minutes gone, second quarter. Once again, guess what? We're having a ball up. Umpire LaPere with a huge pack of players around him. Luke Windle, was he interfered with? No, said the umpire. Keen tried to take it away. Ducking his head there was Steve Doherty and will get another ball up. 25 metres out from the old Zavs goal. They've kicked two goals to one in this quarter. They yeah. lead by 26. In the background behind this is uh, Fleming and uh, former coach Simon Lethleen. Okay, now Doherty's got it again. The right-footed one, number seven. That's uh, Steve Doherty out towards Ryan Colbert for Old Zavarians. Now, he dived on top of the football, made no attempt to get it out. But once again, we'll get a ball up. Do get a lot of Old Zavs past players at their finals games. <laughs> well, they always know it's going to be on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you get a lot of fast <laughs> yeah, players. Yeah, Very club at there, guys. Just there, here, here we go. Here, here, they, here go. they go. Some beads, men, tone tigers coming through the middle of the ground. Richard sends it up towards. Oh, 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 McGettigan takes a superb mark. Mark. Right, mark. Two on one down there. I mean, the, the Zavs again playing the percentages. Had the extra number there. The ball only had to spill, and they'd have cleared it. But McGettigan is a fantastic player with great hands and took a. Really good contested mark. He's hoping he can put it through. Chris Richards it was streaming through the middle of the ground to deliver that ball into the hands of McGettigan. And who's holding up very well after last week when we thought we might have to put him down? <laughs> and who wasn't going to be picked for the early part of the year? A much-needed goal here for the Tigers as McGettigan has missed <sighs> to the near side. 1-3-9 St. Bede's Mentone Tigers trailing Old Zavarians by 25 points. 5, 4, 34, 18 minutes gone. Honan Insurance Grip score. Nick Wynn brought the ball into Biddlecombe and he went out wide to Murphy Ambrose. They're using the outer side of the ground and they're using it well. Up to the veteran in Rogerson who takes the mark. Between halfback flank and centre wing, Brad Rogerson. Been a great servant over the years for Old Zavarians. He's got one on short and that's uh, Sam Lees who now takes the mark. So the left footer, Lees. Chips play back into Ryan Colbert. Slow build-up, tempo football here, Old Zavarians, Colbert. Elects to go wide, out here to Dynan. And Dynan back in the side for the grand final, drives it long, up looking for Chris Waller. On the half-forward flank, oh, Waller does nice. very well on the left foot, up looking for Chopper Hanley, Shakib fell over in front of him. Robertson came through hard for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, couldn't take the football with him. And what is a good passage of play. He ended up with another stoppage and another ball up. 40 metres out from the Old Zav goal. 18 minutes gone. They lead by 25. Great piece of pace there from uh, Waller right in front of us then, wasn't it? Stride it away. Tagliabu again won the knockout. I'm not sure if uh, Wintle has won too many tap-outs. He got the clearance though on that occasion. The kick came out towards the boundary line. 
And we'll have another throw in. This near side, left forward pocket. A lot of activity in uh, both of the coaches' boxes as the extended put up by Darvell in a tackle. And we'll have another ball up. Knocked up, knocking the ball out, the big fella. Yeah, Everybody well, <laughs> it's pretty important to their game because they, they, they cause that many of them. stoppages, that is. Thrown up. Everyone missed it. Fresh air shot. Howard's strong tackle laid on him on this occasion by Tom Tyquin. And uh, we'll have another ball up. Hard to get hard. De decent play flowing at the moment. Teams just, both teams just keen to try and restrict the other side from breaking away from the pack. Tagliabu jumped miles too early, but he still won it comfortably. Waller ran onto it best. Runs through 45. Burrells a kick up towards full forward. And uh, bounced. Garside just had to Go wait on. for it. Goss waited for him and put a strong tackle on him to force another ball up just 15 metres out. John, does the fast play or the, the sort of heavy work, which one takes more time on the players? Uh, Waller kicks it off the ground out of the air. Hanley snaps it towards goal. Wintle hand pass uh, uh, away. Shakib oh. got it away. They're okay. They're going to get out of it here. Sabides, this is through O'Kearney. Kicks up towards Dandria, who takes the mark in front of Shaw. So Dandria... Kicks short and finds Keane. Wanted to play on, he was off. Uh -oh. And he's caught. And he should be penalised for holding the ball. No, said the umpire. He gets it back here, Keane. Uh -oh. Spills it out towards Williams. Williams buys a hand pass to Smith. And Smith should waltz into a goal. Although he's missed away to the right for a minor score. Zaz, 5-5-35. St. Bede's Mento, Mento and Tigers, 1-3-9 on the Honan Insurance Group scoreboard. Sorry, John, before I wasn't expecting it from a real fast start of play. I was expecting another ball up. <laughs> so Tom Tyquin brings the ball back in. He's looking for Tim Doherty. Had it punched away on that occasion by Prowse. Ball came back towards Ben Kennedy, and the ball went over the line and out of bounds, and we'll get a, a ball in. So what are you talking about there? The, 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 Just, is the it toll of body on the body. The toll of body on body or fast guess, running. Fast. Which one do they get tighter? Uh, I reckon body on body. Well, they'll be very tired because there's been a lot of body on body clashes. Uh, Jared Robertson trying to take it. Quick handball away by Shaw. Quick kick there by Esmond Prowse up towards Handley. Oh, he tried to good. belt the ball through, but Wintle did well for St. Bede's men, Dunn Tigers. And the ball went over the line again and out of bounds. 21 minutes gone on the Honans Insurance Group scoreboard and Zaverian's 35, St. Bede's 9. Throw in. This near side of the ground just kicked off the ground by Waller. He's done that twice now from the ruck contest. After Waller's Ooh. still running, going on to it. Wintle crashes in hard. Good tackle again by Larkins. He's been really important across half four there for old Zavs. Just laying tackles at will. And again, we will have another ball up. This time 20 metres out directly in front of the old Zaverian's goal. Thrown up. Shore over the top. Robertson got the knockout. Comes out towards Richards. Hand passes out towards uh, D'Andrea. He's slipped over at the critical time. Williams got it. Kennedy got the hand pass from him. He hand passes backwards towards Waller. Kick goes not very far up in the air. Robertson tries to claim the mark. Won't be paid. D'Andrea crashes in hard. Mangoni's there as well. Uh, got a hand pass out to Keane. He got it to Richards. Richards' kick is okay. And oh, they dropping the mark Ooh. on this occasion. Jeans immediately under pressure. Colbert hand pass to Ball. Ball hand pass to Lees. Turned over. Good smother though on that occasion by Tyquin. We'll have a ball up right in front of us here. Our broadcast position for 96.5 in FM and 98.9 North West FM. That breeze is quite strong now. Just looking at the tree at the uh, Glen Huntley Road and, end. And St. Bede's Men Tone Tigers are not making use of it at the moment. 22 minutes gone. They've only kicked one goal. Quick handball away. Ends up with Chris Waller really coming into the game. He got the handball to Kennedy. Kennedy was Leg. wrapped up in a tackle. He got away from it. Went to Rogerson who went to win. Win tries to break through on the left foot. Back. Drives it up to the wards, the full forward line. Ken called for a free in the back. No, said the umpire. Jake Williams is at the bottom of the pack and he's got the free kick for Old Zavarian. Really? I don't know. He went, to, he went straight to ground and uh, brought players down on top of him. So... So Williams, who already has two goals, and he'll kick from 35 metres out. No real angle to speak of into this breeze. Yeah, this will hurt. He's suffered a lot of pain in the first 53 minutes of this game. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. This for Old Zavarian six as Williams comes in and it pushes and it pushes to the right and one minor score. Five six to one three. 23 gone in the second quarter on 96.5 and 98.9. That, that kick for goal was always going to the right. Always. Stay there, didn't it? St. Bede's Mentone Tigers kick oh. is a shocker and they've coughed it up and it'll be a free kick in the pocket. 
to be taken by either Smith or Williams. Smith is going to take the free kick. And Zav supporters behind the goals let them know about it. Kick goes in short and finds Kennedy and improves the angle. And Kennedy will line up from 30 metres out, 45 degree angle. Left hand goal post, I think. From there. But it's a confidence thing. That was Tom Tyquin kicked the ball in. And, you know, he's a good kick, and that's just confidence. He's just shot at the moment. Yeah, well, that's the other thing about this stoppage, close, intense game. It gets in your head. That, that's as much as anything that Kennedy you. comes in to kick for goal, and he pops it through. No, it faded. The breeze caught it late. <laughs> it was online. The breeze did catch it late. Goes through for one behind. 5-7, five, 37 five, old Zavs. Trailing, uh, leading some Bees Mentone Tigers. 1-3-9, Honan Insurance Group scoreboard. So Tyquin relieved of his duties by Steve Doherty. Kicks it up to the uh, towards Simon Richards. Now the St. Bees Mentone captain tries to get the ball going. He got it to Tim Doherty. He was certainly pushed in the back by Ryan Colbert. And Tim Doherty has got the football and a 25-metre penalty for not throwing the ball back quick enough. So this is a better chance now for St. Bees Mentone Tigers. They've got it quickly up to half forward. Now they're going to slow play up and the Zavarians have got the chance to get numbers back. Doherty, ordinary oh. kick in front. Zavs have numbers, can't take control of football. Ends up back there with Steve Doherty. He had his kick smothered. McGetty can works hard at the bottom of the pack for St. Bede's. And it's not coming out and we'll get a ball up. But we're 40 metres out from St. Bede's goal. You suggest, John, they need at least two in the next four or five minutes. Yeah, they do. But, I mean, the numbers of Zavs players back there then just completely outnumbering the they, St. Bede's guys. They forced back very quickly, and Ben Kennedy got the football out. Had his handball half smothered. Pat Tyquin in there hard. Four St. Bede's men tone Tigers, and we're going to have another ball up. This time 55 metres out from uh, the men tone goal. It's just you're constantly, every touch you're getting, you're under pressure, and it, it does your head in. This is having a very similar... Uh, effect is the first game they played isn't it beautiful takeaway there on that occasion chris richards got it hand passes backwards there towards O'Kearney. he got it back towards garside garside kick up towards hansen direction colbert read it best at the back breaks away for old zavarians he's got kick. prouse on the outer side of the ground he takes the mark and runs away kicks it long down the line to no one in particular because there was no one there. D'Andrea's going to get there first for some beads, oh, Mentone Tigers. Oh, oh, Williams oh, oh. took a punt and ran forward. Yes, he, he, might, he might still get it here, Williams. He goes back Still's to help back. out his teammates. Pack forms on the outer side of the ground. Great play and, again. And uh, we'll serious. have a ball up on the outer side. I thought Williams oh. was going to get a cheeky free yes, one there. Yes, yes. Well, you can do that when you've got confidence in your teammates that, uh, that uh, not to be. And then he was good enough to get over there and... Uh, become an extra number. John Shaw gets it away to Darvell. Darvell handball back to Shaw and Shaw kicks up looking for Larkins at the front of O'Kearney. He can't take uh, it. Oh. Shakib dropped it. Came to Hanley and Hanley pulled it right and one minor score. 5 8 38 one, three, nine. The margin out to 29. Chopper Hanley has one goal, two. Two goals, five for the quarter so far. They could have uh, Into the wind. shut the gate then. Into the wind to one goal, two with it. So some bees meant to Tigers at half back. Tyquin went to Barnes and he goes back to across the face of goal to Winter, who goes to the outer side and he was forced to kick high, but it was okay. It's worked out all right to Robertson. So Robertson outer side of the ground, comes back in board, dangerous kick, but it's okay to Richards who wanted to play on. He's got Barnes who's found himself free at centre half back. Hand passes now to the it's running the uh, O'Kearney. Barnes gets it back now by hand. Hand pass to Hanson. They've got no runners there, though. Goes to Kane. He's flat-footed. Kicks it to sideways out here towards Doherty on his left. What can he do? Can he size up an option? He Good can. Kick. Good pass well to McGinn again, who marks on the 45. And he's pretty much directly in front. He's going for goal. He's a good uh, kick, uh, Tim Doherty, isn't he? Just the well, way he oh, made Beautiful that. kick. We're, we're been, user we've been draw. raving on about him for half a season. Mm -hmm. I've been agreeing with you for that time, John. <laughs> Good on you, Crooksy. Doherty, uh, sorry, it, it delivered the ball to McGettigan. It's McGettigan who's got it now. 5 8 38, the score old Zavs. Some beads mentone Tigers. This to move them to 15. They're 1 3 9 at the moment. Uh -oh. McGettigan from 50 metres pushes it away to the right for another behind. He today has two goals, one goal, two. 
And some beads move, Mentone Tigers move to double figures. They're 1410 margin, 28 points on the Honan Insurance Group scoreboard. And if you think we're sounding like we're barracking for some beads, you're right, we are, because we want a close game. <laughs> Wynn brings it into Dynan. Dynan goes out wide looking for Murphy Ambrose. He can't take the ball. Tom Tyquin dispossessed him. It came back to Wintle of the Luke variety. He there went into again. Doherty, and that was Tim Doherty. Surgeon he got like it across Foxy. the cane. So Doherty really coming into the play. Now St. Bede's Mentone Tigers have to score in this last minute and a half or so. Kicked that neck by Kane. Deep up into the forward line. McGettigan in front. Punched away from him. Over the line and out of bounds. And we'll get a throw in. 30 metres around from the St. Bede's Mentone Tigers goal. Probably went to the dead pocket on that occasion. Now the ball comes back into play. Win taps it down for uh, Old Zavarians. Kane to McGettigan. McGettigan got the handball out. Ended up with Kane. He ducked around two or three. Then went out wide. Larkins overran the ball. He Ooh, works oh, back well hard done. for Old Zavarians. Now he sits on top of it. And the umpire says he'll ball it up. Not many decisions being made in the first half. 29 and a quarter gone. Old Zavarians by 28. Plenty of courage there from Larkins. Yeah, he's been really good, Larkins. Knocked out by Wintle. Back in board to Tyquin. He goes to Doherty. What can he do with that left foot? Sends the ball across the face of goal towards the pocket. Oh, oh, good mark. mark. Well read by Murnane. And he can line up from 35 metres out directly in front. He's going to be a good player, this bloke, Ken. Yes, he looks a good player each time we've seen it. Had a fantastic first half of the preliminary final last week, didn't he, on the outer wing? So, mm. James Murnane. Is uh, 22 years old. Don't know if he pl he didn't play in the one grand final a couple of years ago. He's a youngster, so his first uh, I think so no. premier grand final runs in and will kick right on the siren of half time from 35 meters. Kicks Kick a goal, up. so Good. really important one for the Tigers. They finally get a second goal of the game. They go to 2 4 16. And the margin is somewhat reduced, albeit to 22 points at halftime. They had use of the breeze in that uh, quarter. They finished the quarter with a goal. And as we said, 22 points the margin. At halftime of the Premier Section Grand Final, the goal kickers, Jake Williams has two, Marcus Allen has two, and a single to Matt Hanley. That's for Olds of Arians. Whilst for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, James Murnane and Peter McGettigan are the major goal kickers. On 96.5 and on 98.9, Inner FM and Northwest FM. And for those watching on Channel 31, we'll take a break and come back and surmise how the first half has gone here of the Premier Grand Final. Welcome back to Elstonwick Park. Michael Crooks now joined uh, by 98.9 zone Glenn Scarborough. Glenn, how did you see the first half? Uh, well, pretty much like the scoreboard shows. Zav's just uh, not letting some birds get their running game going. And... Um uh, we look at the flags at the moment. They're standing up a little bit more than what they were earlier. I fear it might be a bit of a blowout from here on in. I'm, um, they just some boots started very nervously, I thought, and, and even into the second quarter they were still looking like they were very nervous. And they just but they can't get their running game going. And um, when they do get in the forward line, Zavs are just doing their old trick of um, making sure it's slowed down and. Do, do things when they're ready. 20 points the difference at quarter time, but we all agreed that that probably is the scoring end, and we've seen a couple of kicks this end yep. not go through. So I still think at quarter time, St. Bede's were right in the game. But if oh, they have scored with the breeze in the second yep. quarter, this is going to be, have to be one heck of a third quarter for them to get back. Oh, yeah, I think so. That's why I say I, I do fear it might be a bit of a blowout. Because they're just not playing well enough at the moment. And, and as you guys mentioned before, when they got that goal on the siren, there was no... You know, a goal on a siren at half-time really couldn't really like lift you, but did it, it didn't didn't seem to. And and Zavs just have this 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 method that they <laughs> that they deploy so perfectly well all the time. And um, uh, yes, like I so said. So you I picked think, before the game, Old Severians to win by 26. You think you might be saying at the no, moment that they might get out a bit further? That was my half-time score. It was pretty close. Oh, wasn't it? right. Okay, <laughs> scatters. <laughs> Good on you. We'll speak to you after the game on uh, 98.9 Northwestern FM and 96.5 Inner FM. Thanks for joining us. Andrew Leonard, Michael Crooks, Ken Petruco here at the ground of Elstonwick Park. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers are now back in their positions. We wait on the old Zavarians and everyone to clear the ground. Andrew, when you're on the role as media and communications manager, happy with the crowd? Uh, well, you thought it might have been a bit I more? I thought it would be a bit more. Right. But, I, mean, I reckon there's four-ish here. Yeah, it's sometimes it's a little bit hard for us to tell because we look to the outer side of the ground and there's obviously there's not a, as There's many a very people. big crowd on this hill here uh, where, where people behind like to stand and also uh, behind the stand here. Uh, 
Yeah, well, I thought it'd be a little bit bigger, but having said that, you've got to be happy with uh, everyone that's here. I'm sure we're hoping that we get a little bit more free-flying play in the second half as umpire David Anselmi puts it up. So thrown up in the middle of Sports Cover Arena to start the second half of the grand final. McGettigan in there gets the first clearance out towards Keane who got it to Richards who delivered up towards the pocket. Leading out there is Chris Richards, couldn't get on the end of it. Murnane takes it over the boundary line and out of bounds. So good start for some Bees men tone Tigers into attack inside the first 15 seconds of the second half. Thrown back into play, forward pocket. Wintle slaps it towards the boundary uh, pocket. Rogerson there gathers the football, gets it to Ball. Ball kicks wide and finds Prowse on the outer side of the ground. Left half back for old Zavs. Prowse sends a long ball up towards the centre wing position. Clears everyone's head over the back there. Trying to gain it is O'Kearney, but he ran out of room. And we'll have a boundary throw on outer side. Centre wing. 38 plays 16. 22 point margin coming into the second half. What have some beads Mentone Tigers got? They let out a big roar at the break of the huddles there to start the second half. Thrown in. Wintle working to front spot. Prowse again gets the clearing kick up towards the Smith direction. O'Kearney tries to slap it away. Smith could run onto it now, just paddles it. Nicely chopped off there by San, uh, Standrea. He kicks wide and finds McGettigan who marks out of side. So again, just trying to build it here. Some beads men tone Tigers. I reckon their disposal's been a little bit off with the exception of Doherty. McGettigan's kick on this occasion, forced to kick hurriedly oh. and win again. Just chopping off in the middle. Just copped a little one from behind from Wintle. Howard letting him know about it, but Wynn's got the free kick. Ah, it's Lucky. It's Matty Ball. Oh, it? No, it's Wynn. Wynn chipped it over there to Colbert. And oh, Colbert. Remonstrating. No, remonstrating. Oh, sorry. With, remonstrating. remonstrating. With, uh, and Colbert goes across now to Juice. Tiernan. Tiernan now on the break. Kicks out. Kick very, on. very wide. Good mark taken out here by Rogerson. That was a Look great at Prout. kick. Look at Prowse. Yeah, Rogerson's got, got Prowse running onto the football, and Esmond dropped the mark. Now he's got to get around one. He was wrapped up beautifully by Doherty. Well, could have got a tackle. free kick right there. around the no, neck. No, I don't think so. But what he does, what, what Esmond Prowse does with that running, is he opened, he opened the game right up, opened the field right up. If he got it... There was a hole back in the middle. That, that is the key to that guy on the wing. And why Two minutes such a good gone. Altavarian still lead by 22 points. So it's not an insurmountable lead at the moment. Ben Kennedy sitting on top of the football, making no attempt at all to get rid of it. But it has been the case all day. The umpires have just decided, no, we're going to ball these ones up. It's almost, almost worthwhile some beads pulling blokes away from the stoppage. And if there's those blokes don't go with them, then sit back and get the loose ball back here. Wintle goes up and just whacks his opponent on that occasion in shore, and he'll get the result in free He's kick. got a bit snaky, the two of them. Yeah, he is. He's Juice and Matty Ball. So really John Shaw other. goes up towards the half-forward line. Mark. Good, strong mark taken, Lockie Smith. Smith kicks it deep up towards Hanley, but charging well out Hawaii Shakeeb. 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 And Shakib takes the mark for St. Pete. Say it again. Shakib. <laughs> Plays on to Tyquin, who got it to Wintle, who got it away there towards uh, and hold of him. Uh, just a hold there and a couple of free kicks being paid early in this second half and Robertson going Robertson forward got, which is a good kick move on that occasion. get something up forward for them another target uh, Kearney uh, might delivering have to go the ball mark Robertson. himself though <laughs> Robertson <laughs> not much up, up there. towards Murnane couldn't quite bring the mark to ground Colbert, Colbert on hands and knees gets it to Lees yeah. gets it to Dynan and Dynan sends the ball forward for old Zaz Goss at the back forced to spoil he might claim the mark it won't be paid at uh, the fall of the ball, a big pack forms. Shakeb, who's going with Goss on that occasion, just uh, locks it in there and will have a ball up. 40 metres out in front of the old Zavs goal. 5 8 no, he's paid a free kick. Oh, he has paid a free kick. He's paid a free kick to Goss. So Goss will go back and line up to kick a goal. He's saying that Tim Doherty dropped the elbow in on him and paid the free kick. I don't know. That's where well, there's one thing for sure. He was closer to it than us. Yes, he was. He saw something. So Goss in the short sleeves. Cold. Middle of the ground at half time. It is quite a significant breeze out there. Goss will kick from about 44 metres. He's a beautiful kick. And he pops it through the middle for his first goal of the grand final. His 78th goal of the season. Brendan Goss is a star of the VAFA. 6 8 44. St. Bede's men, uh, that's Old Zavarian. St. Bede's men tone Tigers. 2 4 16 on the Garno Private Well scoreboard for Bowen Zavilla's choice. Four and a half minutes gone in the third term. Well, the way they're going, Zavs, they'll put this game out of, out of the reach of the other side in this quarter. Yes, I would be uh, in agreement with that, Ken. 
St. Bede's men turn Tigers need goals. They need them desperately and not when the Matthew ball takes it out. Kicks up towards Smith across the half forward line. He got the quick handball away to Howard. Howard was now dispossessed. Charging okay. through was O'Kearney. The young under 19 got it up to Mangoni. Oh, the warehouse rising star winner for St. Bede's men turn Tigers on the outer side of the ground. Mangoni went up looking for Porter. Porter dropped the mark. He uh, tried to take the ball but it went over the line and out of bounds in front of Dynan and we'll get a throw in. Five minutes gone. Old Zav 6 8 and Bees Men Tone Tigers 2 4. Third term brought to you by Bowen's The Builder's Choice. Restart of play. Out of sight of the ground. Windles worked hard in the ruck against Shaw, who got the takeaway. Bottom of the pack, quick handball, and that went to a la- uh, went out there towards Waller. Waller got it out towards Lockie Smith, and Lockie Smith found the boundary. David to Joe at uh, ground level. Anything to uh, comment? Uh, Breeze has slightly picked up a little bit down here. What about Roy Orbison? Have you got anything? <laughs> Thrown in. We'll let you recover, Joe, and come back to us. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in. Taken away there by Doherty. Kicks up towards half forward. Wind under. Oh, oh great mark, mark from Win. Superb mark. Immediately to his feet. Plays on. Rogerson coming off uh, out of fullback. He clears and kicks up towards Williams. He read it best. Uh, just a little bump there from D'Andrea. Made Williams lose his feet. Goss tried to paddle it to his advantage. Garside there with him. Garside just happy to concede a boundary throw in. Don't they get it away from uh, the back line down to really their forward line very quickly? <laughs> <laughs> but just that run angle and the run and bang. Straight gone. through the middle as well. Reliability. With that breeze at the back. Shaw, front spot, knocks it out towards Prowse. Hanley might get another roving goal here if he gets it. Can't quite get it. Tyquin crashes in. He wants a free kick. Merv Monty says no. We'll have a ball up 15 metres out directly in front. Well, when you're tackled by Hanley, you certainly know about it, don't you? Doesn't leave anything back. Hold back at all. Good knock. Short knocks it back into the hot spot area. Crashing through Mangoni. Hand pass out to Tyquin. He's got to use Robinson. Had no had no left foot there, uh, did... Uh, Tyquin comes out to Kennedy now. Hand pass to Larkins. He's got Murphy Ambrose wedged against the boundary line. Ambrose flying shot at goal is offline for one behind. 6 9 45 old Zavs. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers 2 4 16. Seven minutes gone in the third term. Garno Private Wealth scoreboard. Almost doing what they like at this stage, Zavs. So Jim Doherty about to bring the ball back in. He's their best kick, but if he's going to take the ball here. He's not going to be used in the midfield much now. Oh, he kicks, oh, oh my goodness, terribly. Fixed him up. <laughs> Nearly found Lockie Smith. Ended up with Paul Windle. He got the handball to his brother Luke. And the veteran went up the line looking for Jared Robertson. Probably one of the best pair of hands on the ground. And Robertson mm, takes the good. mark on centre wing. Chips the ball back in towards the centre. McGettigan's got to go up at the bottom of the pack. Howard. It was Waller. Waller. And Waller drove the ball long up to the wards, the half forward line. Punched away. It's ended up with Simon Richards. Simon Richards goes back looking for Dean Porter. And Porter takes the mark across half back. He's working really hard, Robertson, as well. He wanted that ball, left it for Porter, and he gets to the next contest. Might get it over oh, the back, but Wynn uh, goes back wind. again with the flight and takes another superb mark. Gets up immediately, kicks to Colbert, hand pass to Allen. Allen short kick to the middle of the ground to Rogerson. Runs through, sends a ball to the pocket towards Goss or Larkins. But Garside read it best, and it's a good mark. Defensive side for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Has a lead from Tyquan that he ignores. Robertson wants it again out this direction. 25. And 25 metres. It's going to be paid. So Garside comes up towards centre half back with the free kick. Wants to go across the face of goal. Does so to Paul Wintle. He's got Doherty on in support if he wants. He uses O'Kearney instead. He has a bounce on the outer side of the ground, O'Kearney. Then delivers a, a low little ball over the top to D'Andrea. Just couldn't quite haul in the mark in front of Howard. Howard working hard. Look at Howard go. Does beautifully, Howard. Then wrapped it back in there. D'Andrea did well to hold him up. Not getting out. He's still at the ball. No one's got hands on the ball. D'Andrea crashes through. Can't get it. Keen on out. hands and knees. Hand passes away here to Hanson. Hanson gets it to Porter. Porter snaps around the corner to send it up towards full forward. Dine in front spot. Couldn't mark it. Getting back uh, Tagliabu helping out on the last line. Got it out to Tienan. Tienan's kick is wide and finds Rogerson who marks on his chest. So Brad Rogerson, one of a very solid old Severian's defence. Takes the mark deep in the back pocket and elects to go to the outer side of the ground beautifully. 
Mark taken by Lockie Smith. He kicked it long. Up towards half forward. Working back was Paul Wintle. He was back there. A quick handball away by Shakabe. He went backwards uh, there out to the outer side of the ground to DeAndrea. DeAndrea got oh, the handball well away and it's ended up oh, with Larkin's Handley. On. Handley got it over the top to Waller. Waller went deep. Right up to the top of the kicked goals it. and he's kicked it. Chris Waller, the prime midfielder for the Old Zavarians Football Club. Came back to the club after playing at Sandringham Dragons and is too uh, good on that occasion and kicked his first. Old Zavarian 7-9-51, St. Bede stagnant 2-4-16. What fantastic persistence that was from uh, a number of Zavs players that were always struggling just to keep the ball down there to begin with, but once they got it out in the open, it was good night, Nurse. Two goals to none in the third quarter. As it possibly is for the game at this point. Yes. As uh, Matty Ball's brother Luke comes up for a uh, bite to eat down below us. Thrown up in the middle of the ground. Tagliabu down to Allen. Allen just ran around everyone and then sent the ball inside. Attacking 45. Wintle's there. It's Paul Wintle just paddling the ball out towards the boundary line. Doherty went in hard. Won the football ahead of Darvell. He's wrapped up though in a tackle by Darvell. And we'll have a ball up. They on make it very difficult 45. for the backs to clear the ball, don't they? Jabs. Well, it's just pressure around the, around the ball, whether it's in the uh, some beads forward line, wherever it is. Look at all the numbers. It's just hard to get it out and get clear. Tackley Boo over the top, running past it. Keen Doherty got a hand pass out sideways there for Richards, pressure, who pressure. got it out towards Andrea. Richards goes in hard again. Can't quite uh, get it this time. Tackley Boo there. Waller crashes in. And close to the boundary line, a free kick's going the way of Waller for being taken too high. But if you get it out of the mire of players there, everyone's man on man elsewhere. So there's just, there's nowhere to go that's not going to be a pressure situation. Waller's kick up towards Goss, over the top of the, his head. Hanley on hands and knees, couldn't trap it. Shakabe got there first for some beads, Mentone Tigers. His kick's okay. And makes it what makes Tom it to Tyquan. the other side of it to Tom Tyquan. That's it. So Tom Tyquan now tries oh, to break it, it run the lines, gets the handball to Keane. Keane gets the handball away to Chris Richards. He tried to handball to himself. Umpire says free kick and it'll go the way of Chris Richards, but he'll have to go back. And maybe you know it's a free kick off the ball, is it? And anyway, they've opened up and now they'll start again oh. and kick a terrible kick up towards Mangoni. Mangoni gets the handball back to Chris Richards. Chris Richards goes out oh. wide. Kane dropped the easiest of marks out there. Playing without confidence at the moment, St. Pete's <laughs> Mentone Tigers. He oh. tried to handball into Wynn's foot so he could get a free kick. I mean, there. Desperation stakes, John, when you're doing that. You're 35 points down 12 minutes into the third quarter. Yeah, just, just a bad fumble from Kane. And as I said, this sort of pressure, constant pressure all day does get inside your head. Robinson gets the takeaway this time to Steve tackle. Doherty. Great tackle by Allen. Ball ended up there with Tyke when he went down the line and Kane it's took better. better hands that time. Took the mark on the outer side. Two and a half kicks out from goal. Out of side of the ground. Kicking to the Glen Huntley road end. Alex Kane goes long up to the full forward line. Biddlecombe was at the front. Rogerson was at the back. They punched it over and we'll get a ball in. But again, look at that massive lump of players that got back for, for the, where that ball was landing. I mean, it was over there a minute ago. Then they just worked so hard they to have get worked back. Hard Work hard to they? get back a number, out number. Porter forced to do the ruck work. Does well, in fact. Knocks it to the advantage of Barnes. Couldn't gather possession, though. Doing well. Lee's got it to win. Who got it out to uh, Biddlecombe. He paddles it towards the boundary line and comes away with it. Biddlecombe has cleared defensive 45. His hand pass was a little bit too much on it for Lockie Smith. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Out of side of the ground. Right half forward for some beads. Mentone Tigers. They trail on the scoreboard. 51 to Old Zaz. The Tigers just 16. Ball thrown back in. Tagliabu up in the ruck contest against Robertson. Tagliabu won it down. The ball went up towards the half forward line. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers have numbers at the bottom of the pack. One of them was Tyquin. And once again, we'll get a ball up. Shakib also getting up at the bottom of the pack there for the St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. John. What are they going to do from the coaching perspective now? Do you just try and keep it like this and kick six in the last quarter? Uh, I'll get back to you in a second with okay, that. Okay, you have a think about it. Matthew Ball tries to take it out. I Four mean, old Zavarians can't do so. First thing they've got to do is make sure they minimise damage on the scoreboard. I mean, they're already six goals down, so they have just try and get a goal back, but they're not going to at the moment because no. Allen's got the handball to Waller. Waller goes up to the half forward line and leading out and taking the mark, Jake Williams. He's a good kick. Can he kick the distance from 45? Ken? Easy. 
Well, Kent. I'm worried about the accuracy more than the distance. Okay, so he's going to get the distance. He has two goals, one. Kick the first two goals of the grand final. The little he, live wire. He loves a goal, though. That'll help him. He coming in. He'll kick from just on the 45-metre arc, <laughs> kicking to the scoring end. Jake Williams unloads and puts it straight through the centre and old Zavarians are charging onto the 2013 Premiership. 8 9 57. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers stuck on their half-time score of 2-4, 16. That's on the Garnet Private Wealth scoreboard. Totally out of reach now. Totally out of reach. Yep. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, there, there, there's... There's no redeeming feature. Well, you do all that wraps and up. I'm just calling it as it is. There's no redeeming feature in, in their play. I mean, there's, there's no, they're unable to get a spark that, you know, gives you some hope that they can get back into it. Here they go. Again, Zavs, Darvell trying to burrow it out. Tagliabu just hacks it off the ground, kicks up towards centre half forward. He does the front and centre roving Tagliabu. Does beautifully, although his hand pass was chopped off by Tom Tyquin, who got it to Chris Richards. And Richards goes wide, but running back with a flight, Rogerson takes a good mark a good on the outer side in front of Kane. Quite OK, good. Brad Rogerson. Yeah, yes. very good. So Rogerson for old Zaz sends it inside towards Darvell. Still just behind centre. Kennedy's wide out this side if they can get that switch across. And just goes down the line instead. Punch from behind came from Wintle. But the fall of the ball, Richards and also Howard. But uh, the boundary line wins out. And we'll have a throw in outer side of the ground. Left half forward for Old Zaz. 8 9 57 to some Bees Mentone Tigers. 2 4 16. 16 minutes gone. Bowen's the builder's choice, bringing the action on 96.5 and 98.9. Robertson gets the takeaway for St. Bees Mentone Tigers. Zavs have numbers back there now. St. Beach try and get a quick handball away. Ended up with Pat Tyquin. Another very poor kick along the ground, virtually underground. And Zavs once again end up with the ball. And now it's the, one of the prime movers in the back line. Nick Wynn usually finds a man. I've put the pressure on him. He's gone longer this time. Up to the half forward line. Over the top of Hanley. Hanley gets the handball away to Lachlan Smith. Lachlan Smith turns it around. Was the half volley mark taken? Yes, it was, said the umpire. And Brendan Goss has got it. Not too far out from goal and couldn't possibly miss, especially with his skill. <laughs> no, that uh, just good play. I mean, Chopper read it well. It was a, it was a high, fly, fast ball coming in with the wind from um, from centre field, and uh, Chopper read it the best. It went over the back and got hands out. So Goss, 15 metres out, directly in front, puts it straight over the goal umpire's head, and he has his second for the day, and that's his 79th ninth for the season. And it's uh, nearly game over, Ken. 9-9 nine, nine to 2-4, 47 points the margin, and we're only gone 17 minutes third quarter. You've almost caught up with me, haven't you? <laughs> well, look, you know, since, since we last sort of mentioned that uh, for some beads to just try and stop the stop the scoreboard damage, we've had two goals kicked in yes. about the last three minutes. Yep. So it is getting to the stage of putting it out, but here's hoping they can, they can just hold it now and... Uh, and Maybe get a goal back at the other end. Here they Cup. go again through Allen, who got the clearance out towards Ambrose, bounced off his knees. Mangoni won the football at centre half back. Hand pass out to Doherty. The other Doherty got it and picked it up and hand well passed played, it. Smothered Kennedy. Mangoni crashed through again. Simon Richards over the football. Maybe he got taken a little bit high by Lee. He did. Certainly uh, played up to it and he managed to get the free kick. And if he didn't play up to it, he's uh, still down on the ground, so he must have got clipped. Oh, he certainly got clipped, but uh, I think you're right. Both counts. <laughs> <laughs> he made sure the umpire got a good look at it. Mm. Richards goes short to Wintle, who marks on the point of the square. His short kick is OK to O'Kearney, who marks in front of Ambrose. Stark contrast to last year's grand final, isn't it? Uh, O'Kearney goes to Doherty. Uh, Doherty to Luke Wintle. Hand pass over the top to Simon Richards, who kept running. He's got Robertson on in the pocket if he wants him. Kick was a little bit too much on it. Wynn couldn't quite take the mark. Oh, free he kick got to uh, taken off the ball, uh, probably illegally. Waller chopped off the hand pass. Hand pass back to Kennedy, who got wrapped up in a tackle. Hand pass in the direction of the boundary <laughs> line. Colbert sat and waited to see if the umpire was going <laughs> to call for a throw in. And uh, Luke Whittle just... was more than happy to take him over the boundary line for a throw in. Yeah, only had to take half a step backwards then, Colbert. Did it easy. 
in deep in the uh, St. Bede's Mentone forward line where it hasn't been very much while, while it, Rogerson it was tried to come through couldn't do so, quick handball to Darvell ended up back there with Waller and Waller kicked the ball up to himself and he took the mark there at <laughs> half back so Chris Waller switches play he's back a, into he's a good fast player that he's fella. brilliant isn't he, <laughs> over to Murphy Ambrose, one's broken free on the outer side of the ground, it's Brad Rogerson he takes one bounce, now he gets the uh, handball over the top up towards Howard who fell over the the veteran came down towards Prouse. Uh, Tiernan tried to take it, but it went back to Mangoni for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. He kicked across his body, and Rogerson took the result and marked for Zavs. Rogerson kicked the ball up towards McGettigan, uh, who got it back there to Murnane. Murnane went wide, and Brad Rogerson took the mark again. He's having a good quarter, Rogerson. Kicks goes short and finds Tiernan. Oh, Prouse it is, rather. Who runs around with a right foot kick up towards the Hanley direction. Underneath it, Shakave gets a big fist to the football. Garside came away with it, got it away to Tyquin. Tyquin's kick's okay to Robertson, who's been one of their best so far. Yeah. Just sits and waits for options to come at him, but his kick's a poor one. And Lees takes the mark Terrible. in front of Kane. We've blown up a few blokes today. <laughs> Maybe we should start... Uh, wrapping up the Zavs blokes to see if they can make a few errors and get some beads back into the contest. Murphy Ambrose kicks short and finds Kennedy. Goes to Matt Ball. Ball's kick to the pockets a beauty for Smith. So Smith has marked it. Uh, 10 metres in from the boundary line and about 47 metres out he'll have to kick from. Well, difficult shot with the wind, prevailing wind perhaps. Yeah. Might be, has to stick it right out to that left goal post. Mm -hmm. And uh, just let the wind do the rest. Let's see what he can do. Runs in, kicks from 46 metres, sticks it out that way. Had the right idea, probably stuck it out that way a little bit too much. It didn't come back. It didn't come back. And <laughs> just one behind. 1964 old Zavs. Uh, leading now by 48 points. 2 4 16 St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Garno Private Wall scoreboard for Bowen's Builders Choice, 22 minutes, third turn. Tyquin brought the ball back into uh, to uh, Paul Windle, who went back to Pat Tyquin, and Pat Tyquin drove the ball up the line with the marks taken by Porter. Out of sight of the ground, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers scoreless in this term. Really finding the going tough. Dean Porter goes out very wide. Middle of the pack, Alex Kane punched away by Shaw. Came down to Colbert, who got the handball to Waller. Waller missed his target, and McGetty can came through like a steam train. Kicked it up to the half-forward line. Now Tackle. working hard. Uh, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers have the ball. He's wrapped up in a very good tackle by Brad Rogerson. And that man at the bottom of the pack, I think, might be Sammy DeAndrea. And he uh, gingerly comes away from the contest. John Shaw gets the ball away. To Matthew Ball, came back oh. there to Robertson. Robertson kicked it very high. <laughs> up to the half-forward line, and good mark taken there by Chris Mangoni. It's a good quarter, Mangoni. Mangoni's kick to the pockets okay towards Richards. Couldn't quite take it. Colbert got back in the way. Jeans got there, hand-passed. And the kick came inside towards uh, the hot spot, but it's all Zavarians back there as Larkins mops up in the last line. Got it away there and uh, working his man under it, Williams. We saw him do this a number of times oh. uh, throughout the season. Tried to kick it off the ground, Williams. Hand pass back in the direction of Larkins. Oh. Tiernan's there in support. He might get it now, oh. Tiernan. Note, just uh, O'Kearney had his head over the football and he managed to hold it up. John, it's not some boots haven't been hard at the football because I think they have. I just think their skill level hasn't been up to it today. Yeah, I look at the... They're sort of having a go. There's no doubt about that. But they're just constantly under pressure when they've got the ball. Waller. Feeds a hand pass back towards Matty Ball. He's got Tiernan wide and uses him. Tiernan's short little kick's a good one back to Waller. who spears the ball up towards Hanley. Oh. He, was, uh, he was, should have got a free kick, Hanley. Goodness Goes gracious. up towards Goss. Comes through. Just trying to paddle it to his advantage, Goss. Numbers back there with Zaz. Hanley tries oh. to sock it off the ground. He might get another chance here, Hanley. Can he get it? He can. He's and he kicks the goal. Oh, great goal. <laughs> great goal. Per perseverance pays for Matt Hanley. And he kicks Old Zavarian's 10th. 10 10 70, margin 54 points now. Hanley has got two goals to today. Well, he ran a long way to get down back in there after a, he, he should have been free kicked in the first place. There was some. You know, a, that's the way it goes sometimes, but the great persistence again from Zavs. So and one of your all time favourites kicks a goal in the grand final, Ken. That'd make you pretty happy. Yeah, he's a good player. And he has better, he's got better as the game's gone on, too, old. Uh, Chopsy, old chopper. 
veteran of 158 games for the old Zaverians, Matthew Hanley, and the ball comes out again to Matthew Ball. Ball drives it up towards the half forward flank. Oh, well Lockie played. Smith turns around beautifully. Unload from 45. Oh, Lachlan Smith it. just oh. to the right hand side. The wind takes it away. One of the more exciting plays for the day. Old Zaverians on a 10 11 71. St. Bede's at 2 4 16. That was their half time score. Zavs have kicked 5 3 in the third term. We've gone 24 and a half minutes on the Garno Private Well scoreboard for Bowen's The Builder's Choice. Fourth point uh, for Lockie Correct. Smith. Correct. 4 Ken, yes. Garside kicks in for St. B's Mentone Tigers. O'Kearney went the big fly. Wintle, the big punch from behind, couldn't do it. But the fall of the ball, his win. Behind Roving, sends it straight back inside. Over the head of Smith. He just got uh, pushed under it, I feel. And he's going to get a free kick here, Smith. Might kick this one. D'Andrea, I think, just gave him a little nudge under the ball. So that that one up. tunnelling that we used to hear about tunneling. a couple of years there ago. it was, yes. John, what do you think? The two new ones in today, they played in the St. Bede's Under-19 Premiership last week, uh, O'Kearney and D'Andrea. What, well, D'Andrea, I the reckon game? we saw it a game earlier in the year. Yeah, we did. He, he's, he's OK. He seems to be going OK. I mean, it's a big ask. Not just on them personally, individually, but, the but just the selection of Under-19 players coming in. I know they had to replace some players, but yeah. hard. Well, it, yeah, really hard, hard thing. Um, but you know, youth is, you know, is is something. And the reserves haven't played for a month, so yeah. you know, you're probably better off pulling kids out that have that have just finished playing. I'm not playing. saying one way or the other. I'm just saying that uh, I think it's definitely it's a hard ass playing the uh, hard bodied olds. It is a tough ass. Although, but, but, but if they're going to be you know come through and be senior players next year, there's no reason they can't now. Especially O'Kearney's got the big body anyway. Hasn't while, he? while that discussion's been going on, Smith has come off the ground injured, and Marcus Allen is going to take the kick in his place. Uh, I think he's just winded at this stage. We might go to you, uh, Speedy, or uh, Joe on the boundary line there just to, to confirm that. Yeah, we think he's just winded. He came off. It looked like he was going to throw his guts up everywhere. Alan, in the meantime, lining up for his third, made the distance but uh, lost accuracy as the wind did catch that one, and he kicks uh, behind. So Marcus Allen, two goals, one today. Old Savs go to 10-13-73. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, 2-4-16. And next time we'll go to Joe for the next medical report, if you don't mind, David. <laughs> I Ball think he just didn't want to kick none five. About to be brought in, <laughs> yeah, correct. By Doherty, he kicked it out very wide. Great mark, mark. taken out there by Hawad Shakib, who takes the mark. Say it again. Hawad Shakib. Is that not right, John? No, I think it sounds great when you say it's it. Like it's Hewad Shakib. It's Hewad Shakib, sorry. He gets the ball back to Tim Doherty. And Doherty goes out wide, punched away Michael Darvell against Murnane over the line and out of bounds. Like Mary Kostakikis on the uh, SBS <laughs> News. You know the way he, she gets her names around, words around? Hewad Shakib, sorry. <laughs> Hewad, one of the better players for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Ruck contest. Wintle gets a big punch away. Looking down there for Barnes, who got it to Chris Richards. He spun around, but I think he didn't get inside the boundary line. And once again, we'll have a throw in. 27 minutes gone. Old Zavarians by 56. A little bit of action off the ball. Goss got dumped. And oh. a bit of remonstrating in the extra umpire. is even out in the tracksuit pants. Gives him something Thank to you, do. Roy. Because uh, Matt Price, something to, to get out there and get amongst the action. He's yeah, been warming up on the sidelines here, the ex rumper so I think he's pretty keen yeah, to get out there. Yeah, he had to get out there, Joe, didn't he? Tagliavu got the knock away for Zaverians, but uh, here they go through Mernane. Comes out to Richards for the Tigers. It's uh, Chris Richards. Hansen's there. He just rips the ball out. Hand pass to Mernane. Hand pass was uh, ill-directed and found Lees. Gave it to Waller, who's just had a super game. Kicks inside up towards the Goss direction, and Hanley came off Goss's boots. He's going to kick a goal, Goss. <laughs> it's just so obvious when he gets that space Brendan Goss kicks his third of the day his third of the quarter and now it goes on again back in the middle of the ground Goss I think let him know and Zavs kick their 11th 11-12-78 St. Bede's Mentone Tigers 2-4-16 Goss has got three and he loved it and just having a look at on the replay screen the Carlton United Breweries replays and had a bit of a go as well so still having a bit of a word and I think they're going to give another kick are they? I think they are. It looks like it. What are you doing down there, Merv? I think we might get another kick. It's uh, it's the best way to stop this, though. Just play a free kick. He's going to give another kick in the goal square. Another kick in the goal square. Going to oh. Larkins, I believe. So, Well, this is going to put it beyond doubt, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes you blacks a long time to catch up with me, I know. So Larkins, <laughs> this is a, the, the, the proverbial 12-point play. Goss kicked the goal. And Larkins is going to double it with another one from point-blank range, John. 
Yes, it is point blank range indeed, Andrew. And that's goal on Arkins. Sailing out the back end of the golf course. Zabs go to 12 uh, 12. No, no, no. no. They're, they're going to reenact it, I think. Why? Because he didn't come around in line with where, uh, where he's no, lining him put up. put it down now. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, well, I don't think he's going to miss Kent. Well, it's good for the supporters because they get to cheer a third time in the space of 30 seconds for a goal. So Larkins, who we thought had kicked the goal. Bet you, guess what? I bet you he will. Lots of people it, with it, lots it, of things to it say would be, It there. would be funny if he missed. I think it would. <laughs> it is getting up there with the most entertaining aspect of the game for a while. <laughs> Larkins kicks the goal for a second time and Zavs get that 12-point play. After Goss remonstrated with Garside and Garside then interfered with Larkins in an illegal way, sending Larkins to the goal square for a goal uh, to make it 12 12 84 old Zav St. Bede's Mentone Tigers 2 4 16. What do you think, gentlemen, about the 12 point play, etc.? It's always sort of rankled me a little bit. I, don't, I, I think don't you've got what... to do something horrendously wrong for yeah, that. Yeah, I think occur. so. I, I, I don't know what truly constitutes it. I, I mean, what... uh, w even if it was a free kick, why didn't it come back to the centre? and start there. Yeah. I mean, I think the ball's dead once it goes through for a goal. Yeah. So I mean, think, if someone's completely decked off the play, well, it's a little bit different, but a little bit of pushing and things like that. Uh, I'm uh, glad the game's I'm not I'm not saying the umpire's wrong. I, I, I don't know the rules, but I, I agree. I mean, it needs, it needs to be something hideous. How many years to coach university boys for? Eight. <laughs> I don't know the rules. I love that comment <laughs> from a coach. <laughs> play, I played for, a premier played for a few coach, too. played for 30 years, and now he's come out and said, I don't know the rules. I don't know that rule. In the middle, Tagliaboo got it oh. down quickly. Ended up with Chris Waller from Ambrose. Waller off the side of the boot, deep into the full forward line. We've gone 31 minutes. And Old Zavarians have had the premiership quarter they required. They've kicked 7-4 to 0-0. Zero, zero. I'll tell you what, this is going to rival the uh, scoreline in the 1995 Old Zavs premiership. Oh, I think they've had three premiership quarters. Stamp authority on the up. game. They've had three premiership quarters. Alarkins gets the handball down to Tagliaboo. Tagliaboo gets Bang, it away to Walla. And Walla kicks his first right on the siren. Kicks his second, sorry, for the game. And Old Zavarians are charging to premiership glory. They go on a 13-12-90. And they're now out to a 74-point lead over St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, who had a scoreless third term. They're on 2-4-16. That third quarter went 31-31. Goal kickers, three to Jake Williams, three to Brendan Goss, two to Marcus Allen, Chris Waller, Matthew Hanley, a single to Chris Larkins, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, James Monet and Peter McGettigan, they're lonely with one apiece. Take a break and be back with more on 96.5 and 98.9. 13-12-90, 2-4-16, that's the score. Joe and David... Uh, Nick Burke and Don Berry didn't keep their players in for much longer, but uh, Mickey Dwyer certainly has. Ah, uh, yeah. You there? Hello? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, I've just left the huddle now. He's still got him in there now. Basically, just trying to jam up. The boys are very flat. Uh, Luke Winnell and uh, Paul Winnell really tried to get him j uh, up, up there to not roll over. But basically, he said the work rate hasn't been good enough and they haven't provided enough of an option. And when they've gone forward, they haven't had crummers and they haven't just done the hard things that they need to do. And in the Zavs camp, when I got over there, the uh, Zavs fans, including our very own or former Fitzy, was calling for blood. Really wanted to crack him open and bury them. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick Burke just said, go as hard in the last win as you did in the first, as a respect to St. Bede's as well. So uh, there should be no fancing around or sort of let down, even though they've got the game well sewn I up. I just thought they'd be ordering the barrels at the moment and things like that. Okay, keeping a lid on it. Going for three for three today as well, old Zavs. Thanks, for, thanks Roy. And how many in total for the season, Andrew? Because they also be won the four, Crocs. Four from six, it'll be, four of the grand finals seven. they made. Oh, uh, four from six. Four from six and grand four from finals seven and four teams. from seven of their teams. 13-12-90 old Zavarians. 2-4-16 St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. John, Mickey Dwyer, they said he's trying to rev them up. What does he say to them at three-quarter time in this sort of situation? Brum, brum. I think he, uh, all he can really say is just, you know, go out there, you know, ch so save some face, try and win the quarter. I mean, because they are still kicking to the scoring uh, end in this last you know, quarter. You, so. you can at least save some face you know, and and kick five goals to one in the last quarter to get the scoreboard back respectable. And, you know, which, I mean, you've just pulled out 1995, 2 5 to whatever it was. 15 11. Okay, you know, so you may remember with the score line like that, but if they can kick six goals and get it up to eight, eight or nine, nine, eight yeah, or nine it goals, it won't to be 15, remembered it's, infamously, it's not so, will that's it? That's right. On 96. So it is Point five, ninety-eight point nine, channel thirty-one and digital forty-four. 
the final term of the 2013 season. Here's Andrew Leonard. Crowd thinned somewhat at the St. Bede's Mentone Tigers end, still packed right at the old Zavs end. Final quarter of football of 2013. Kennedy comes away with it from the takeaway. Beautiful pass up to Williams. Allen front and centre couldn't quite gather it. D'Andrea crashes through. Allen puts a very heavy tackle on him and D'Andrea will get a free kick for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Tyquin makes a lead. He goes in that direction. Should get the journey with the distance. I don't think Tyquin read it very well. Ambrose did well to get there. Ambrose crashes oh, in. Oh, big head. bump on Ambrose by head. Porter. Holds his head. He's Both still on the ground. Yeah, and as in the meantime, the ball's gone towards the boundary line and Shakabe takes it over. Ambrose still on the ground. He might just uh, be best to come straight to the Oh, bench. he's got a split mouth. He's got blood out of it coming out of his mouth. So he will need to come off. And yep. he's a bit wobbly He too, looks isn't a bit he? dazed. Do you want Joe, to get have a going? look, please. Yeah, I can see it from here. He's got blood in his mouth. And he doesn't uh, know where he is. Tin and comes it's a bit like on to you replace with a him. Claret, he... isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Very similar indeed, Kent. <laughs> yeah. That might uh, curtail some uh, fun and games tonight for Mr. Ambrose. That was a heavy knock. Uh, front spot there, short. He's been tireless all day. Gets it to Waller, who's just been superb. Gets around a couple and kicks a high ball up towards centre wing. Smith under it, oh, but Wintel, right, Wintel takes a nice mark running back with the flight. And it probably should be 25 with Williams uh, just getting in the way there as he wanted to play on. Gave it to Tyquin, who is now off. Gets around Tier, uh, Tiernan and then kicks a nice ball up towards uh, uh, the other Tyquin, Tom Tyquin, who kicks it to the pocket. It's a poor kick. Mangoni, Pick. who's been moved forward, Summer was on the lead. Day, yeah. it? Almost picked out the boundary umpire then. And uh, Rogerson will take the free kick in the back pocket. So Brad Rogerson, as Ken mentioned at three-quarter time, been very good today across half-back in the back pocket. Kicks it long into the breeze. Up looking for Shaw. In front of the pack there was Kennedy, and the ball's gone the over the line and out of bounds on the full against Paul Wintle. And the free kick will go the way of Matthew Ball at half-back. He's been pretty good to skip her in and under. and There's been plenty of it to do. Gets the ball to Esmond Prowse. At half-back, they're slowing up play for the sake of the game. I hope they try and kick a few goals. Esmond Prowse kicks long up, looking for Kennedy. Oh, good showing yep. good hands at the back of the pack there was Thank Hawad you. Shakib, and he has taken the football. Shakib elects to go out wide there to uh, Murnane, and Murnane takes the mark. When I say out wide, back into the centre of the ground. Murnane chips into Simon Richards for his 15th possession in the last quarter, the skipper. It's had a big season. It's going to be a big thud today. And Richards goes out very wide. And the mark's taken there by Shakib. Hand passes to the running Doherty, who runs Telegram. past Tim Doherty. And then hand passes backwards towards uh, Shakib, who sits it up to the top of the square. Big fly from Jeans. Couldn't quite bring it to ground. At the fall of the ball, it's all Zavs, though. Rogerson got it to win. Kick partially smothered. McGettigan chops it off. Hand passes backwards to Keane. Keane's hand pass is intercepted by Wynn. Hacks the ball forward only as far as McGettigan. Crashing through, uh, trying to get the position of the football as Howard. Came out through Lees, who got it to Waller, who hand passes sideways to Smith. He goes back to Diner now if he wants him. Had ball down the line. Elects to go long, and it was a poor kick, and Wintle chops it off. So Luke Wintle, oh, sorry, Paul Wintle, takes the mark and chicks into Luke Wintle. Predicted that. Brothers waxing in the last quarter. A heap of brothers. He gets into another one in Doherty. Doherty goes long, right up towards the full forward oh, line, and man. Nick Wynn, proven grand final performer, takes the mark. Nick Wynn, the centre half back, goes out wide there looking for Tiernan. Tiernan went out further wide. Esmond Prowse trying to do the buttering up work, and he doesn't give away a score. John Kennis breathes a sigh of relief. It goes over the line <laughs> and out of bounds. 74 points to the margin, foregone final term. They must be the meanest back line you've ever seen, aren't they? They're, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been a perfect day for footy. Win goes through. Oh, Porter puts a strong ball, tackle surely. on him. Biddle come there on hands and knees. Mangoni puts a tackle on him, and it goes over right next to the behind post. So def defending stoutly there. For a 74-point lead, there's still a little bit of angst between them. Watch Porter and... Throw in. Forward pocket, Shaw and Wintle do ruck. Ball crashes through. Comes out there to Lees, who got it away to Tiernan. Got it to Waller. Back to Prowse. Prowse's kick. I think it might have gone out of bounds yeah. already. So we'll go back and have a ball in. 90 plays 16. Four and a half minutes gone in the final quarter of the grand final. The last game of VAFA footy for 2013. 
And we're in some beadsmen tone Tigers attacking area. As John said, they really need to kick six goals to save face, even in this last quarter. But they haven't kicked any as yet. They get a quick kick away deep up to the full forward line. Mangoni, Wynn and Porter. Wynn just ran it over the line. Porter desperately wants a free kick. Umpire's not going to give it. And we'll get another throw in. Five minutes gone in the final term for McDonald's. The Premiership, as Ken Petruco called it, at about the five-minute mark of the first quarter, will be going the way of Turak Park again. John Shaw gets the ball down and leads. Oh, they've drawn it level. They've drawn level for a minor score. So they've put their first score in the second half. They trail by 73. For our radio listeners, that's not drawn level on the score. Well, that's drawn with the losing University Blue side of 1995 in the grand <laughs> final. Uh, their score for that day, a 2-5-15. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers are currently... A uh, 2 5 17, sorry. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers now currently on that score. Zavs from the kick-in have worked it to half-back and Smith's got the football. He goes short to Prowse. And Prowse has marked it. Still uh, defensive side of uh, halfway. He goes wide to Rogerson. I just heard someone sing out who wants it. Rogerson <laughs> goes across to Colbert. Colbert. Goes wider to Biddlecombe, who's had a pretty good day. Well, I reckon uh, young Murphy kicks, Ambrose is in a bit of trouble. Kicks across towards Tiernan. And uh, Joe and uh, David are down there uh, n right near that. Oh, we'll come oh, to you in a moment. That? How's Biddlecombe just uh, avoids a couple. Gets it to Waller, who must have had close to 30 possessions. Gets it to Tiernan, to Larkins, to Matt Ball, oh. who's also had a lot of it, to win. And it's just uh, sharing it Beautiful around now. Uh, and passes across to Rogerson, good play who, too. who's running on the outer side of the ground now. Delivers a low spearing ball. Beautiful oh. pass to Goss. Bounce off oh, his chest. He's good enough to mop up his own crumbs. Hand pass back to Rogerson. Back to Prowse. And Prowse goes wide to the outer side and Smith. So Lockie Smith's got the football. Half forward flank. He's been very good, except inaccurate. And kicks the ball up to the half forward well, they've, line. They've just had about 15 possessions without the other side touching the ball. Chips up and the mark's taken there Make by Big 16. Chopper Hanley. And Matthew's taken the mark 35 mm. metres out. That's a massacre in that little piece of play. David? Joe? Yeah, look, I think they're going to call an ambulance. Just worried about the jaw at this stage. So he's, uh, for any family or anything listening at home, he's certainly uh, conscious and things like that. But uh, I think his folks were there. That was He that did was, cop awesome. one right in the face there, Murphy Ambrose. So Matthew Hanley deep in the forward pocket, 30 metres out from goal, and he's kicking into the breeze. So he's got the odds stacked against him. He's kicked two goals too. He's kicked a lot of goals in his career. And he's got it. it pushes oh, no. just across to the left and one minor score. They got a 13-13 leading some beats. 2-5. Well, they've levelled the quarter. Yes, very good. They're on a roll. All square. Kick in goes to McGettigan. He goes wide to the outer side to Doherty. He marks. Still left half back. He's off now. Umpire calls him to play on. Still no pressure comes. And his kick comes backwards towards full back and uh, D'Andrea. He goes across the face of goal to Garside, who marks in the pocket, defensive pocket. He goes long to McGettigan, who receives the very first kick of this chain. He goes across to Wintle, hand pass to Garside, back to Wintle. Wintle had a lead from Doherty. Oh! Trouble here. Waller, beautiful tackle, holding the ball. Williams has got it, should pass to Goss. Goss is going to mark 20 metres out, and he can go back and line up for goal number four. Nice mercy. Just gone. Well, just good play from Waller again. He's uh, he's played an outstanding game, right. as we've mentioned. And uh, Gossie just sort of slipping back there, making himself uh, some space and having an easy ball chipped up to him. And it's a relatively easy shot on goal from 15 metres for him. Goss today has got three goals. All of those in the third quarter. This one in the fourth, and he's still it. only got three goals. And Michael Crooks had written it down, and he's uh, missed and kicked it behind. So three goals, one today for Brendan Goss. Zavs go to 13-14-92, leading St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, 2-5-17. Nine minutes gone. That's on the Bendigo Bank East Malvern scoreboard, thanks to McDonald's Family Restaurants. That's you teaching him to kick that round ball. He hasn't been out to training yet, Ken. <laughs>
Doherty goes very, very long for St. Pete's men. Tone Tigers right to the centre of the ground. But Zavs have numbers. Tagliabu got it away to Ball who went to Colbert. Colbert went out wide looking for Lachlan Smith. Been very good across half board and takes the mark. Smith goes back into his skipper in Matt Ball. He's racked up the possessions, been suited with this sort of football. Chips the ball back to Ryan Colbert. Please go forward. We're in the last quarter of a grand final. You're leading by 80 points. Lees gets it across now. Starting up the play here, Crooksy. Opening up the play right to Rogerson. And Rogerson builds up the statistics and goes back to Ryan Colbert. Gone back so Beads metres. haven't taken the ball and they've taken it back 100 metres. Ryan Colbert goes out wide to Prowse and now he'll long bomb. And he sends it long up towards the half forward line. Tagliabu does well to uh, affect a spoil on Doherty. Here goes Waller again. Feeds a hand pass back to Ball. Gee, they've just combined beautifully today to Darvell. Hand pass to Wynn, who just kicks it quickly off a step in towards the pocket. Robertson under pressure. Putting that pressure on him is Williams. Still, Williams might be a chance. Goss could be a chance. No, just goes over the boundary line. Oh, sorry, over the over the line for a behind. A rush behind to Old Zaz. 13-15-93, Old Zaz. St. Bede's Men's Own Tigers, 2-5-17. Awad Shakib takes the result and kick in and kicks it up to Porter, who takes the mark right in the centre of Elstonwick Park. They're looking for the third goal of the day. Their first goal of the second half. He got it across to Chris Rogers. Back to Hawad Shakib, Unloading a consolation point. 2-6-18 to 13-15-93. And, John, that was one of their best moves for the whole day. It was. They had good numbers there. I th- think, in fact, uh, in the middle, Turner could have turned around and got the ball on a little bit quicker because there were guys breaking downfield. They might have got an easier shot. That was the only thing. But, yeah, good flow and play. So they've uh, moved past that Uni Blues total in 95 <laughs> as well with that behind. 2 6 18. Kick in comes Shattering to the near side. <laughs> Tyquin goes out towards uh, Mangoni. Still Tyquin trying to burrow through. That's Pat Tyquin. Uh, another pack forms and we'll have a ball up. Any uh, further update from boundary side on uh, Murphy Ambrose? Uh, the, well, it's not a runner, it's a support, I guess, in the orange t shirts out there looking for a couple of his teeth. Oh, very much. Uh, interesting. I didn't realise he'd. Uh, was he wearing a mouth guard, do we know? Yeah, he did. So bottom teeth, we presume, or? Might find them at the end of the game. Thrown up, still a four to centre for some Bees Mentone Tigers. Here's Darvell, who roved uh, the third man up, punch away from Wintel. Uh, Shakabe stole it, got it to Wintel, got it to Dandrea, who wanted to get back to his right foot and kick to the pocket to Porter, who should mark and will go back and line up to have a shot at goal. He's uh, managed one behind today, Dean Porter. I think the president of uh, Hull Zabs, uh, Simon Hunt, is lining up. I think he wants to come out of the ground now, going through the interchange gate. Well, Porter kicks a behind. They are indeed going out and having They're a about 10 metres team. away <laughs> from it. It's about, it's about where that water boy is now is where it yep. happened. Well, the sad part for St. Bede's Men's Tone Tigers is they still haven't got to Old Zavarian's quarter time score at the moment. It's 13 15 to 2 7, so they're two and a half quarters behind as Nick Wynn kicks in along out to the outer side of the ground. Luke Wintle, who's obviously tried hard as he always does, tries to take the ball away, can't do so, and we'll get a ball up. They're ever looking around here when he came <laughs> off the ground. Yeah, yeah well, they're, they're retracing all his steps. He may have still had them in because. Uh, Blood was pouring from uh, Murphy Ambrose. Bit of a sad way to finish the grand final. Been a good player all season for him. And now no one can take clear possession of the football out there on the outer side of the ground. Ben Kennedy's got it. He's not going to give it away. He finally does. It went to Wintle, who went to Keane. Patrick Keane had his kick smothered by the big man in Tagliabu. And he sees the ball over the line and out of bounds. The boys are telling him where to find the... Over. No, they're nowhere near it. It's back over. 12 goal, 11 goals, 8 to the margin, 74 points, 13 minutes gone in the final term on the Bendigo Bank of East Melbourne scoreboard and Marcus Allen takes the football away up towards Chopper. He was sat on from behind on this occasion. He'll get the free kick. So big Matthew Hanley's got it right out there on centre wing. Have a shot, Matt. That's about it. Where they are now is oh, about it. So not even they could get it's that. in that area. Maybe closer to the boundary umpire. Hanley kicks up towards Goss, who marks at centre-half forward. Uh, he's got Larkins going long. He goes towards Larkins. I fancy his chances, just uh, couldn't quite hold it. At the back of the pack, Tiernan was held without it. Might come out here for a chance at goal. Gets back to Tiernan, who snaps, and just to sprayed it off the side of the boot for a minor score. 13, 16, 94 olds. So That's just edging that score up slowly. They can't kick a goal in this final term yet. 12, 7. 
19. That's a 2 7 19. Don't get us excited. Patrick Tyquin <laughs> goes into Keane. Keane takes the mark and handballs out the back there to Kane. Kane chips into the middle of the ground where he finds Wintle. Wintle gets the handball away and drives it up towards the half forward line. shakibu has gone up at Nick Wynn Dudwell. Got it to Marcus Allen. Now Zavarian's through Kennedy. Go up to Larkins and Larkins takes the mark oh, between the centre fella. wing and half forward flank. Larkins goes down looking for Williams. Oh, and over no. the top, Brendan Goss. No, the free, free kick's kick. been paid. And the free kick will go the way of Patrick Kitten. Uh, Tyquin for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Four points to three in the last quarter. We need a goal. We do. Some description. If one at any end would be yes, nice. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Wintel hand passes back to Doherty. Doherty off half back sends a long ball up towards Shakabe, who marks in front of Shaw. See, they're getting some unpressured kicks now. There's nowhere near the same numbers around the ball. Shakabe's short up. pass to the pocket. It's a good one for Barnes, who dropped the mark, couldn't quite take it on his chest. Hansen's there, can't uh, get hands on the ball. Another pack forms, and we'll have a ball up just inside. The attacking 45 for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. That crowd at their end is very much thinned out at the uh, left-hand side of our broadcast position. The old Zaverians crowd is still very strong. They've seen two flags today. They're going to see a third one. Comes out here for Howard. Howard hand pass to win, and Zavs are away off half-back, although the kick from Wynn was a poor one. Comes out to Tyquin, who gathers the football in the middle of the ground. Kick over the head of Richards, lands in the arms of Shakabe. He's played pretty well. Yeah, played all right. Shakabe's short kick to Wintle. Jeez. So Luke Wintle will uh, have a kick for goal. He got this distance in him, Ken? Uh, just a second. <coughs> what day is it? Uh, yes. He's uh, playing his 299th game today. Is Luke Wintle, so... Will he go around again next year for his 300th? Kicks from inside the square. Great he's got kick. the distance. He's got the accuracy. And he's got the goal. So some beads, Mentone Tigers kick their third. A good goal from uh, Luke Wintle. 3 7 25, uh, the Tigers. Olds of Variance, 13 16 94. Mac uh, Bendigo Bank East Malvern scoreboard for McDonald's Family Restaurants. We've gone 16 and a half minutes in the final term. And uh, some beads boys getting around him uh, for the, the massive effort of that big kick late in the game. Um, just shows the spirit that club does have. And look, the big man himself is going to end up with over 20 possessions, so he still worked fairly hard in a team that's just been decimated today. Severians win the takeaway, but only as far as Richards, who ducks back. That was Chris Richards. He got the handball over the top there to Keane, and Keane got it away there to Tyquin. Patrick, Patrick Tyquin up to the half-forward line. Can they get on a roll? They might be, because McGettican went up and took the mark. So Peter McGettican will kick from 30... Or 30 metres out directly in front to kick their second goal in as many minutes and it took them probably about 107 minutes to kick the first two. Yep, uh, he's been a good player all day for them, Peter McGettigan, you know, given the time that they haven't had the ball in what? position. Been most of the day. He's so. kicked yeah, one he's goal, two. <laughs> McGettigan comes in to kick his second, puts it straight over the goal umpire's hat. They've got two in a row, but I think they need, what do they need, about uh, 11 more. 4 7 31, 13, 16, 94 on the Bendigo Bank of East Melbourne scoreboard. Last quarter brought to you by McDonald's. Yes, so they've uh, they've bridged, bridged it back to just over 10 goals and uh, you know, I hope for their sake that they can uh, finish the last 10 minutes off of this game with, uh, with a flurry of goals so that uh, the scoreboard has some respectability, but... Uh, as they have just sort of working their way back into a premiership, probably have got a little bit more left in their tail at the other end. Here goes Richards again, although a strong tackle is laid on him and holding the ball as he was spun around multiple times. Good tackling by Shaw in the middle of the ground. Hand passes to Ball. Ball goes wide to Rogerson on the outer side of the ground. Kick down the line's a good one and finds Smith. So they won't threaten the highest winning score in a grand final, as which was back in 1930, 103 points to Old Melbournians over Elstonwick in the Premier Grand Final, the A-grade Grand Final. So That would have been a disappointing one, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Doherty uh -huh. kicks up towards the middle of the ground and Shaw takes another mark for Old Zavarians. Goes wide to Smith, who marks centre wing out of side of the ground. Comes backwards to Rogerson who marks at half back. He might go back to Smith and he goes to Colbert instead as Smith had vacated that area. 94 to 31 in the Premier Grand Final. 
96.5, 98.9, bringing you the action. Kick went up towards the ball direction, couldn't quite gather it. Nicely done by Tagliabue, hand pass to ball, hand pass back to Rogerson, who delivers beautifully to Williams, straight through his hands. D'Andrea did really well, spun out of trouble, got it to Wintle, got it back from Wintle, D'Andrea, hand pass Keane, hand pass to Chris Richards. It's Richards better. feeds a long hand pass wide out towards uh, Keane, who sends a short ball up to Hansen. Hansen plays on. Wheels around on the right and sends it to the goal, to, uh, full forward line, up towards McGettigan, who might try and kick one from the pocket. He no does. Doubt. He kicks a beautiful goal. Well done. Very nice goal from Peter McGettigan. He's got three today, two of those in the last five minutes. And at the 20-minute mark of the final quarter of the Premier Grand Final, St. Bede's Mentone Tigers kick their feet. 5-7-37 to Old Severians, 13-16-94. You see there that they're able to do what they couldn't do earlier in the game with really quick, quick first give handballs in tight to set yes. a player up out in the open so that he could give an unpressured kick downfield, moved it well down, got it to a one-on-one -on -one situation, with, and with a great player like Peter McGettigan, you get the result. But early on in the game, they, either, they just weren't given those they sort of... They weren't given the freedom, John, at all, were they? And they weren't giving those things in close because they were under so much 230, pressure. 2 game veteran Luke Howard got it out of the centre and ended up with Larkins. Larkins got the quick handball away to, to Prouse. Uh, Tina, it was, sorry, it went up to Handley. Here's Chopper for the first goal of the last quarter for Old Zemerians. <laughs> no, not to be. He's pulled it away to the left and one minor score. He has two goals, four. They've gone to 13-17. St. Bede's a 5-7, margin 58. Well, Chopper's missed some goals today. He um, yeah. probably could have had four or five. A goalless this quarter. Kick out yes. comes to the near side. Porter and Robertson could have raffled it. Porter's, Porter in the front spot took the mark. Kick to the middle of the ground to Hansen, who marks in front of Wynn. Hand passes to the running O'Kearney. On the left goes wide. It's an ugly looking kick getting there. Shaw playing at uh, centre half back on Shakabe. He gets it at ground level and kicks in board towards Mangoni. Richards is in the middle of the ground and he uses him. Jeans has run forward. Receiving the ball, D'Andrea has really come into the game quite well, actually, mm. D'Andrea. And his pass is a nice one and finds the leading Barnes. But when you look around the St. Bede's side, Barnes, young. Jeans, young. You've got the two under 19 kids up that are young. Tom Tyquin, under 19. Um, they have a lot of players that are just under 20 years of age. Barnes has just missed away to the right-hand side for a minor score. Manane, right. is, it, Manane is another one. I mean, yep. they've got about eight kids yep. that are under 19 or just out of under 19. So they've got a good future. Future is bright. They're Average. playing against a mature, hard-nosed side that have just put too much pressure on them today. But I think they also have a pretty good future. Average Larkins a, kicks a, the ball into Darvell. Old Zabs? Yeah. Yes. A yeah average possibly. age 26 of Old Zabs today. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers, 24. And that includes two Wintles. There you go. 24? Really? Howard gets the ball. Yeah, but as I said, they've got well, the two oldest players. a complete players. mockery of my <laughs> statement. Wish you wouldn't talk about age, you blokes. Half-back flank, four old Zavarians. They lead by 57 points at the 22-and-a-half-minute mark of the 2013 Grand Final. Tagliabu got it to ground only as far as Windle. Back to Richards. Handball to Pat Tyquin. Off the right side of his foot. Up towards Alex Kane. He was run over the line by the ball and Brad Rogerson and will get a throw in. 45 metres out from the St. Bede's Mentone Tigers goal. They've kicked the only three goals of the last quarter. When is their scoreboard somewhat acceptable, John, if they kick another couple? Yeah, they might they, do they, so they, now because Simon get Richards the mid -50s, get gets the ball points. out looking for Jeans. <laughs> Hayden Jeans has got the football. Now he kicks a very ordinary kick right to the outer side of the ground and Biddlecum is happy for it to bounce over the line. Let's look at the old Zav coaching box up there. They're all squished in. There's about 15 of them in that area. All solemn-looking faces except for... Uh, <laughs> Don Berry, who looks to have cracked a, cracked a gag up there. And one of the only things that uh, bad about this afternoon for Old Zavarians is the injury to Murphy Ambrose. As we said, he's fully conscious, but we believe, Joe and David, that he's probably got a suspected broken jaw in that clash early in the last quarter. So uh, if you can bring us anything more from ground level, please do so. The ball's on the outer side of the ground. Old Zavarians have got it, and they're five minutes away from another premiership. Tiernan kicks to Larkins. And he's got Biddle come on if he wants to come wide, but he goes back from where it came to Prouse. He hand passes over the top to Smith. And Smith sends a long ball up towards centre wing and Hanley. 
And Hanley can't quite dr uh, drag in the mark, but Tagliabue yeah, roving brilliantly to Allen oh, by a hand good, over the top to Williams, oh. who just didn't sit for him, which was unfortunate. Oh, Hanley, look at the big body up. he puts uh, in. And Tagliabue now, gets it back to Hanley. Hanley just dropped, dropped it. it. Mm. Uh, came away <laughs> here for some beads, men tone Tigers. Robertson picks it up. Short little kick around the corner. Just got a little bit too much on it for Shakabe. That did sit up for him, though. Hand pass over the top here to Kane. Kane waits for it on the bounce. And tries to step around. Sure, he's got nothing to kick to. So then just sprays Ooh, a kick high up towards centre forward. <laughs> Big fly for the ball. Might fall advantageously for the Tigers. It doesn't. Tinnan gets there first. Stripped from him by Luke Wintle. He has a flying shot at goal. And it misses just off line 5 9 39. The Tigers, they trailing old Zavarians 13 7 95. David Speedy. Uh, just spoken to Simon Hunt. Murphy Ambrose's parents are taking him straight to hospital rather than waiting for an ambulance so he can get straight into surgery. Ryan Colbert chips the ball back in. Four old Severians to the outer side to Lees. Lees goes long. Too long for Ben Kennedy on this occasion. Alex Kane's looking for the boundary line. Kane got the handball away to uh, O'Kiernan. He went back to Shakib over the top to Simon Richards. Quick handball looking for Tom Tyke when O'Kiernan got the ball back to uh, and ended up there with Hanson. Hanson's deep in the forward line looking for the sixth goal of the afternoon for St. Bede's Mentone Tigers. Four in a row. They go on a 6 9 45. It's consolation goals are plenty. Old Severians will be premiers, though. They're 13 17 95. 25 and three quarter minutes gone on the final term on 96.5, 98.9, Channel 31 and Digital 44. Well, they've done well this quarter, the Tigers, haven't they? As uh, John Kness is doing his votes for the uh, Jock Nelson medal for the best on ground in the grand final just as uh, Benny Goodman comes around to collect them back in the middle here I'm not sure that the next three minutes of football is going to change too much from the way the grand final's gone today ball got the hand pass out there to Tiernan who kicks it up towards Hanley oh almost brought it down <laughs> couldn't quite complete the mark Robertson got it out the back there towards Jeans off a step kicks it wide to Shakab he'll run onto it now and gather it has a bounce and sends the ball inside towards the lead of Barnes and hits him on the chest with a nice pass. So Barnes in the pocket here. He's going to run around and kick it up to the top of the goal square. Backing back win. Might be a chance for him getting it at the back. Is there a free kick going the way of win? Yeah, Nick or, or Yeah, to win. Just getting in, putting his hands in his back. Or oh, going to Larkins, in fact. Free kick for Larkins. I think uh, just one... Between one to two minutes to go in the grand final. There it is there. The siren sounds. And Old Zavarians are premiers in 2013. It's their first flag since the 2010 grand final. They've defeated some Beads Men Tone Tigers. 13, 17, 95. Uh, Old Zavarians to the Tigers. 6, 9, 45. As the players shake hands, the result was... Uh, beyond doubt, we would say, at least halfway through the third quarter, if not earlier, some observers oh, might you. say. Major Ground level, David Speedy. Yeah, g'day, guys. I'm down here with uh, Gossie. Kicked a uh, few in the grand final, mate. How does it feel right now? It feels unbelievable. Hasn't really uh, set in for me, to be honest. It's just, uh, it's just happened so. Mate, just absolutely over the moon. Just, um, mate, speechless. Absolutely speechless. You must have known, though, Gossie. A bit change. Yeah, yeah there's a bit of anti-climatic -climat uh, there in the last quarter, mate, but um, just sort of yeah, seeing a few blokes could uh, get him to blow the siren a bit earlier, but um, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable game. And yeah, and mate, uh, so Brent, Brendan, you still fit to start a massive all in there in the last quarter? Yeah, geez, yeah, Gar Tommy got me one, and um, yeah, he wasn't happy with it. So um, yeah, no, look, it's uh, yeah, it's footy, I guess, but nah, um, nah, yeah, mate, just pretty happy to get the you win. You got to stand your ground. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So. Uh, that's good. That chops your head for goal, Gossy, that you missed. We blamed uh, your good coach here, Mr. Canis, for teaching you to do something with that round ball. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Bloody hell, Tommy. <laughs> we'd, we'd already written it down. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, mate. Uh, I've got to go, go, boys. Go, go, get go, go Brendan. Well done. Brendan Gosh joining David Speedy there. We'll hopefully have some more interviews. We'll have all the presentations here on 96.5 and 98.9, Channel 31, Digital 44. Glenn Scarborough joins us. Glenn, not in doubt right from, I'd say, halfway through the second quarter. Uh, yes, well, as I said at halftime, I feared a bit of a blowout. They're just too strong, and they just didn't, didn't allow them to play their running game. If you try and break it down to one simple thing, that, I reckon that's it. They just didn't yeah. allow them to get that running game going. And, and the couple of times that St. Bede's did do that, 
you know, in, the, in passages in the last quarter, they looked good. Because the pressure well, wasn't as great right. at, at the right. ball in that last quarter. You could see. Yes. You could see there were no not the numbers around the ball. There was not the, the Zaz physicality at the ball, and there there was room and time to do stuff. And, you know, they're able to get their game going. Goal kickers. Jake Williams kicks three. Brendan Goss, three. Marcus Allen, Chris Waller, Matthew Hanley, two apiece. Chris Sparky, Larkins, one. St. Bede's Mentone Tigers kick four in the last 15 minutes to make this score somewhat respectable. Peter McGetty can kick three. Luke Wintle, one. James Manane, one. And Cameron Hansen kicked the last one. After the break, we'll come back with all the presentations. Our Old England Hotel Best on Ground Award, the Jock Nelson medalist. And if William don't agree with the Jock Nelson medalist this year, there's something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to start the, the presentations for the Premier section by saying uh, very well played to St. Bede's Mentone Tigers today, to, to Mick and to Simon and the team. Uh, congratulations on making it to the grand final and putting up a good effort today against Old Zavarians. Congratulations to Old Zavarians. It's been a superb day for you guys for three premierships. And we congratulate you on that as the players and uh, spectators make their way over to the presentation area. We will start the presentations for the Premier grand final by, as we always do by presenting the medals to the umpires I'd like to call upon the general manager of umpiring for the VAFA Mr Brian Goodman to come and make the presentations to today's umpires our goal umpires today Chris Kearney and Kevin Sagoda. Our bout fires today, Jack Cooper, Tom Newman and Mitchell Jones. And our field umpires today, David Anselmi, David LaPere and Merv Monty. Again, thank you to our umpires today and thank you there to Benny. I now like to call upon Mr Jock Nelson to come and present the best on ground medal, the medal named after him for the best player on the ground in the grand final. Uh, the winner of this medal this year from Old Zavs, and a very worthy winner, number 21, Chris Waller. Well done, Chris. To make the presentations of the Premiership medallions, I'll call upon old President, Mr. Simon Hunt. Number one, Jake Williams. Number six, Ben Kennedy. Number seven, Michael Darvell. Number eight, Andy Biddlecombe. Number 11, Luke Howard. Number 12, Brendan Goss. Number 16, Brad Rogerson.
Number 17, Chris Larkins. Number 18, John Shaw. Number 20, Marcus Allen. Number 21, our Jock Nelson medalist, Chris Waller. Number 23, Lockie Smith. Yeah, I'll get him in. Sorry about that, Tim. We'll get you now. Tim Diner, number 19. Number 24, Sam Tagliabu. Number 26, Nick Wynn. Number 29, Matt Hanley. Unfortunately, number 30, Murphy Ambrose is not here at the moment. We'll get his medal in a moment. Uh, we'll get Matty Ball to collect that one. But number 30, Murphy Ambrose. Number 34, Ryan Colbert. Number 40, Sam Lees. Number 41, Esmond Prouse. And number 42, Louis Tiernan. And the Premiership skipper, Matthew Ball. And the co-coaches, Nick Burke and Don Berry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of Dom, um, Matt, myself and the club, I'd just first of all like to acknowledge Mick and the St. Bede's Men Tone Football Club for the wonderful effort they put in this year. I know you feel horrible about it now, fellas, but from where you came during the year just shows you've got an enormous amount of character, you've got a very good coach, and you're a very proud club. And uh, I think uh, whilst you're disappointed now, you should reflect on the year and be very proud of what you've done. Well done to you and Mick. Uh, to the old Tavs, terrific effort today. Um, you know, out on your feet in the end. Half the side could barely lift their legs, and, and that's what you want when you play a grand final. You want to leave nothing out here. Are asked to give it their all, and they did. So, fellas, uh, on behalf of Dom and I, fantastic. Thanks very much. Have a good night. Guys, on uh, VAFA CEO, Mr. Michael Hazel, and uh, the CEO or Managing Director of Sports Cover, Mr. Chris Nash, to come and present. The LA Adamson Cup to Old Zavarians, the winners of the 2013 Premiership. Congratulations, Old Zavarians, Premiers of Premier Section in 2013. <laughs>